Hello, everyone. Welcome to City Skylines. My name is Tim. You can call me Tim2716 or vice versa. And today we're playing City Skylines. This game was supposed to be... This video was supposed to be released a little earlier and all that. But you know what? I decided on something. We're going to... Okay, I'm just going to show you the title screen real quick. Like this loading screen. Because I just felt like it. Because I actually really like that piece of artwork. Now, we're going to start a new game. We're going to pick one of these maps. I think islands. Yeah. We want to name it after a great grand city. A city that it shows that this is the new world capital. One of the former cities that showed that was a city known as Constantinople, which was at one point the capital of the world, basically. It wasn't the actual capital of the world, but it was pretty close to it because of just how important of a city it was. This city is going to stand as that, but for, well, mediocrity. It's going to be the mediocre version of Constantinople. If Constantinople fell even harder than it actually did, it's going to be the hardest fallen city ever. Probably the most fallen city. It's going to be more like Detroit. It's going to be less of Constantinople and more like Detroit. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this because this is going to be a pretty crazy city I'm going to be building. Yeah, if you see the picture right there, there's lots of rivers. We can figure out how to exploit that because that is what a good human being does. A good human being exploits nature and makes it their own. A good human being makes nature into whatever it wants. Nah, I'm just kidding. A good human being respects nature. But this is City Skylines. We don't have to respect nature. And that's kind of true. This game is just a game. It's not real life. We can do basically whatever we want in this game. And do you know what? I don't care. We're gonna call this city Tim Stantinople. Because why not? I think that's a cool name. We should obviously call it that. Because, well, I'm gonna be the leader of this city. And it's gonna be the greatest city the world ever saw. And it's gonna fall just like Constantinople and Rome. So we start out with this pretty sizable piece of land with a river running through it. Now, before we start building anything, I'm just going to buy as much land as I can because I want to have plenty of space, to be honest. I want all the space I can get for a few reasons. One, I don't want to be cramped in a little tiny two by two kilometer cube or whatever it's called. Yeah, square. I totally didn't forget what it was called. Let's place a hydroelectric dam here as a way to make energy. And you know what? Let's place one here as well, because I think that this would help. We'll speed things up, and um, I, I don't know why they're inactive. Like, this is... Oh, one of them is actually on. That's pretty good. Oh, no, you're doing the opposite of what you were supposed to do. You're supposed to let water through, not flood. So yeah, I'm just going to build like a little spillway for this, kind of like how a lot of dams in real life have. Yeah, ranging from tiny little dams to gigantic dams, the size larger than Monaco even have this. It's pretty cool if I say so myself. Just one of the things I'm fascinated with is architecture and gigantic construction projects. And when I say gigantic construction projects, I'm not talking about like big buildings. No, I'm talking about like dams that are the larger dams that are the size of Monaco and artificial islands. I'm talking those are the types of architecture projects that I'm really fascinated with. Things so big, they just alter the entire planet in some way. And speaking of altering the planet, the Three Gorges Dam in China, ever since it was completed and filled up, every day has been two microseconds longer. So yeah, you can blame China for every day feeling slightly longer, because their dam has made each day longer, and I'm not kidding by that. Now, it's such a short amount longer that we're just gonna not even care at this point, because two microseconds isn't even that much. Now, we're at the highway right here. Entrance 1. This is the grand entrance to our city, and I think that we should at least use this part 
to basically expand and branch out into a little bit of everywhere, this is going to be where the economic center of our city is, or I don't know, where the riffraff are going to live or something, and it really annoys me that my hydroelectric dams are flooding so much. Seriously, they're not supposed to be doing that. They're supposed to provide energy and allow water to flow through. That is literally all they're there for. Okay, this right here. I'm going to see if I can build a spillway through there. Oh, gosh. It, it's it's garbage. I don't like that spillway. Oh, my. Yeah, I'm probably just going to have to dig through it, through the land or something like that. Maybe a second one would help or something. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, I'm going to probably at some point make that into its own little island, maybe. Just because why not? Now, let's see. I'm actually kind of curious. Can you can you make a bridge? Okay, you can connect roads off of the hydroelectric dams. Nice. You can't connect them off of, like, a middle section of a hydroelectric dam. Like, that makes sense and all. Because you'd be going over a bunch of working working spaces that involve like going into the dam itself because a lot of these giant dams actually have tunnels inside of them where people can do service and stuff like that i think it's pretty cool and it just shows how cool our oh wow that's a giant tsunami okay i gotta build this bridge just the right moment okay not building it there i i just want to build this bridge at the right moment so we can just get these two pieces connected because if we don't... Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of these canals. They're just a pain in the butt. I can't deal with them. These canals are so crappy. They do nothing. So yeah, I'm going to dig out the entirety of this. And yeah, now that we have it dug out, how about we just do a couple of cool things? Okay, I'm on the other side of the map now. The reason I'm here is because I want to turn that big giant mountain you guys probably saw that we had control over. I want to turn that into our own territory. Okay, I just realized putting canals in there, those man-made ones, are a horrible idea. So we're just going to dig out the terrain because that is actually a lot better. Okay, we're speeding up right now. Just we're on the other river, specifically not the one that we started on, but the one farthest away from us right now. We're on that one specifically because I want this thing to flow out to that one, basically creating a super strong flow for that river and just doing a lot of cool stuff, basically. So far, it's actually going pretty good, if I say so, because the water is almost met with up with each other. We can get rid of those stupid man-made canals, make our artificial super canal even deeper. And do you know what? It's like parting the Red Sea, but instead of parting a sea, you're parting a bunch of land, which I think is pretty cool. It's like the Panama Canal or Suez Canal or something like that, but not as efficient, really. Because I don't, I don't think ships can go through. I think it's too shallow for that. Okay, where should I go now? Okay, where? Oh, I think this would be a pretty cool place to probably put a hydroelectric dam. Okay, it's tall. That's a good thing. This thing's going to be tall. We can build an artificial lake back there. And I think that would be pretty cool. We can build an artificial lake that we can, like, have fish in and stuff. We can maybe start a fishing industry. I think that would be pretty cool. Oh, my. This thing is blocking off the entire river. That is not good. Not good at all. Oh, my. Just wow. What are we even going to do? Okay. Now that I think about it, I'm not that dumb. We're going to do a spillway. A spillway is necessary for this. Just like a lot of dams in real life, we need a spillway in our fictional dam. We need a spillway to release water that just accumulates up and tries to flood over the dam. Yeah, this is necessary. Absolutely necessary. Okay, now with this, we have some water flowing out, which is pretty good. The area that used to be completely barren is actually now filling up, and I actually really like that because... We can now have this dam look normal, not like it's just blocking off a river entirely. Now, this road right here, I am I think I might put it under the highway or over it. I'm not entirely sure. Now that I think about it, under it's pretty cool, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that because why not? 
I think that's a pretty good idea since there's going to be no intersection into the highway because one thing I hate in the United States is those highways that have stoplights. Why would you do that? A highway is statistically the place where people are driving the fastest, so why would you put a stoplight there? It's such a dumb idea, and it just seems pointless and counterintuitive. But yeah, other than that, I think this is a pretty cool place. We got some of our rivers and canals done, or some of our spillways. It's just beautiful, to be honest. We have all the things we could ever want, basically. And just... Okay, we have all the things we could ever want except for a population, but that's coming later. I'm just building some of the infrastructure before doing any population work, because I want them to be ready for what they have. I want to build this before they come to the city, because, to be honest, I don't want them to just arrive into an empty city. Now this right here is something that's pretty cool. It's a roundabout. Now if you see what I've done right here, it is, well, it doesn't look that big until you, you, just, you just need to see something. This right here is not just any roundabout thing. It is absolutely gargantuan. This, this thing you're looking at, oh, I'm not going to tell you what it's for at all. No, I'm not. It's going to be connected to the highway because why not? Yeah, it's big. It goes all the way to, um, it goes from the sea all the way up to the inland highways. So that should give you an idea of just how big it is. And to the point where I had to destroy a bunch of rail lines just to place it. Now that right there is a flat view of it. I'm going to probably try and give you an aerial view because there is no way that this is going to be the only view of this place I'm giving you. Because this is a sad, sad view. Okay, I'm just going to have to put down a train station just for the sole purpose of getting access to tracks. Because I don't want it to look like this forever. I want train tracks to run through at this weird cacophony of uh, roundabouts. You know what? This is probably a British person's dream. A British person's dream come true is probably this. Roundabouts upon roundabouts upon roundabouts. Now, I skipped forward some because it was kind of boring. This. This is how big this is. This is a giant abomination of land. An abomination of roundabouts. Something that would basically drive any American to insanity, since roundabouts aren't very common here. Also, some of the places that we're going to build in this city are going to make everyone upset. Americans, Europeans, doesn't matter where you're from or what side of the road you drive on. There's a little bit of something that everyone is going to hate in this city. There's a little bit of everything to not like. There's a little bit of everything to like. There's also a little bit of everything to just abominably hate. Now, we're nearby where that river area... Basically, we're nearby our abomination roundabout neighborhood, because why not? We're here specifically to build another small little island area. This island is probably too small to do really much of anything on, so it's gonna be like more of a municipality island. And what I mean by that, we're going to do services. Now this canal right here that I'm digging right next to it, this is going to be another way to help aid that canal, specifically for spillway purposes. Because if we don't have this, there is no way that we are not going to start flooding. Absolutely none. So right here, we're just destroying whatever these are. I think these are agricultural um, reservoir things. Okay, they're not reservoirs. I think they're ravines or something like that. I, I, why can't I speak? Okay, we're back to one of the minor highways. We're going to connect these roads so people can actually get into the city. And we're doing this because why not? Okay, now I've teleported straight to one of the smaller islands. So we can dig a canal through it. And specifically so we don't flood some more because this water is kind of violent to be honest. I'm fairly certain some of the water from that other river might actually be flowing into this main river, which is where all my people are going to live around. 
And yeah, you see all those flooding icons? I want to avoid those. Because I don't find that fun. I don't think it's fun having a bunch of those. And that bridge is dangerously close to flooding. Yeah, let's widen this up some. Because that is actually a better idea. Just widening this. By widening it, we can increase the flow capacity. And things are already starting to look tiny bit better. Oh my. That is just so much water. So much water. Okay. Things are now working, finally. Things are now finally working again. Let's make the river a little bit wider. I might make another th spillway for that dam. But yeah, let's just do this real quick. We'll make the edge deeper so it has a little waterfall right here. Kind of like Niagara Falls, but far, far more disappointing. Oh, and speaking of that, I've actually seen Niagara Falls in person. It's pretty cool, but it's not the coolest place on Earth. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. It's a cool place and all, but it's not like, oh, it's the greatest place you'll ever see type place. Okay, now, with all of this, we're not gonna run out of water, like, ever. So yeah, let's just build a bridge across this river, specifically there. Now, the other highway, which I earlier disconnected, in order to build this canal, let's just build a bridge. I finished up the highway, skipped all that, because it would get boring and long for that reason. And you know what? We're going to head over to one of the smaller islands, specifically building a road network that will connect it to the rest of society outside of that weird roundabout hellhole. We're doing this specifically just to make this place traversable for normal people. Now, one of our smaller islands, we're going to connect to one of our larger islands. Not the mainland, but we're connecting it to, like, one of the big islands. Okay, that one with the mountain in it is technically the biggest. And now, that island that we made, like, the first one we made, yeah, these are the bridges. We did a little bit of work here, skipped some through to the day, because I don't want to build at night. That is all I'm going to say. Now, since we're over here at our original entrance, let's make a big, giant road that goes straight forward and basically, it's kind of like the central backbone of the city, kind of. It is the road that everyone will drive down in order to go anywhere. Okay, we'll connect it here, specifically for the purposes of traversability. Because I want people to go anywhere in the city, by car, specifically. I'm thinking about putting in public transit. It's not going to be good, because I'm not very good at public transit. So, yeah, hopefully, by doing something in this city, we can get it to be an incredible, incredible city. We can make an absolutely incredible city that people from all over the world are jealous of. Okay, this right here is the little bridge I made over top of my highway. Actually, I, now that I think about it, I don't even think I made that bridge. So, yeah, let's take this right here. We're going to take it underground some. Okay, now with this, I want to try and connect it to that station so it's not utterly useless. Okay, that's cool. Now we have a wind turbine. Okay, I think we can try to put it somewhere close, specifically so we can give power to the train station. Okay, it's doing pretty good. One inside of, like, the roundabout highway intersection. Okay, let's put a water-based one in there. Now, this is a big roundabout. These ones are larger than the other ones, and I think they're, like, industrial-sized highway ones, so... Oh, my, that looks horrible. Yeah, I do not like them at all. Absolutely not. I very much dislike these giant roundabouts. Maybe I might keep them. I'm just not sure. I don't want to keep them because they just don't look that good other than being efficient. And sometimes being efficient isn't good enough for style or just desires. I don't want to have roundabouts in this city, but they're an option, and I thought just they would be cool looking to some extent. This, These big roundabouts I just don't like. That's all I'm going to say. I don't like the big roundabouts. The small ones I like because you can place houses and buildings next to them and all that. That's just a bunch of wasted space inside of there. Okay. Now, 
We're over on one, the St. Myland, where we built all those roundabouts. No, not the other island. The island where we used the big ugly roundabouts. Somehow, the thing got deleted. Yeah, I didn't save the game properly, and those old roundabouts got gone. So yeah, now we don't have them. Unfortunately, some of the wind turbines and stuff also went away. So yeah, we're gonna have to fix all of this by actually, get this, improving the city. That was trial one, but I'm, now that I think about it, I'm actually kind of happy the game didn't save properly. Don't worry, we still have all of our stuff here. We still have our spillways, our rivers, our dams. We still have all of that. Don't worry. We just don't have our... We don't have our ugly roundabouts, and unfortunately, we don't have our central city road that we promised. This is going to be a little wider, specifically for um, anti-flooding purposes. Make this a little wider as well, because why not? I think it will be better for everyone. Not to have constant flooding threats and not to be afraid of it. You know what? We're getting rid of our old waterfall that I compared to Niagara. Because, you know what? Niagara Falls is kind of overrated when you truly think about it. It's a waterfall. Like, Victoria Falls is so much cooler. I've never seen it in person, but I'm just going to say it's cooler. Now, we're just going to put down some water pipes right here specifically so I don't have to do it later. That is why we're doing this. And also, oh wow, this is going to be an utter nightmare. Okay, what was only about, what was only a fraction of a second for you guys was an absolute nightmare for me. I had to do all of this, make sure that I was spacing them properly. I'm connecting them in order to make sure that they actually, like, they're connected to each other and stuff like that. But yeah, now that right there, our whole entire roundabout area is full. Okay, and you guessed it, it's low-density residential. That is the surprise. It's not industrial, low-density residential is what it is. And with all of this, we got our first citizens. They are not happy for some reason. Oh my, I think the hydroelectric dam might have become inactive. Oh, oh crap, are you kidding me? Why? Yep, it's inactive. Of course it is. Why not? Oh my gosh. That, that house is that right there, right on the other side of the dam, is such a piece of garbage. Why is it like that? Let's build some offshore wind turbines because I really like them. I think they have a pretty cool design. Let's do this because they provide a lot of power. And you know what? When they send energy to the dam... The dam is also connected to the houses, so technically, it powers everything. Okay, so we have actually started off with our city pretty good right now. I think we're doing actually quite decently. Now, this right here, I'm just going to create this little shelf. I'm not entirely sure what I'm even going to do with it. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use it. I'm not sure. Oh, and I like how someone just tweeted, this city sucks. Well, no crap, the city sucks. New no dip, the city sucks. The city sucks because it's basically not even a city. You can't even call this place a town. It's not basically not even constructed. There's 168 people here. This isn't a city. This is what you call an abomination against nature. An abomination construction project that will probably never be fully complete. Like most cities. Yeah, most cities are almost never complete because of just how big they are, the fact they're constantly growing and all that. But yeah, let's build some of this around the entire big island that we created. And yep, that river's slowing the opposite way I expected. And I think that's actually why we got all our flooding. Yep, now that I think about it, that is actually true. We got all our flooding because that river is flowing the opposite way. Okay, let's do this so we can at least get all that. Now we're back to our one dam that um, hasn't been working like at all. So yeah, since we it wasn't working, we just put some hydroelectric next to it. Now, back on our main economic island, we are going to basically do whatever we can in order to cram as much buildings on here as possible. Incoherent street layout, check. Because I don't like putting a good street layout in this game. 
I feel like it. There are these people that are like, um, actually, European cities have better infrastructure than American cities. Like, I get that, but you don't need to brag about it. You don't need to be snooty about it. European cities get traffic, too. Okay, let's build a little tunnel under here so we don't have to go through the highway because I actually don't like going through the highway. Absolutely not. I don't want a highway with intersections in it unless it's like the end of a highway and it tells you a couple miles ahead. Now with this, we're going to have a city that makes you live on the edge. The edge of the world. Specifically, the edge of the ocean. Because we want you to basically just live here. Yes, this is what we're considering livable, habitable land. This is livable, according to us. According to, like, maybe one person. And you know what? I lied. We're totally putting highway intersections. That container ship just said, nope, we're not doing anything. Okay, I'm going to need to add police stations because I don't want the city to be ridden with crime. Okay, we're going to place them all throughout here. There's probably going to be more police stations in this quadrant than there are in the entire city, to be honest. Like, even when it's almost complete, there's probably going to be more here than in the whole quadrant. Okay, one thing I'm just going to say real quick. I, I really like this city. Like, this city is just genuinely awesome. Like, as it's starting off. Like, it's not even that big. It has not even 500 people, but yet yeah, it's so awesome. I like it because it's just growing and growing. And like, oh, people are starting to move in at farther away places. That's pretty nice. Let's place the police station there on this little stupid island. Fire station. You know what? Let's place another fire station. Now that I think about it, we should absolutely place them. Because firemen are necessities to our society. Because if our buildings burn down, you can't just pee on a fire if it's in like a 50-story skyscraper. You can't. Yes, all of this. All of this will show our city has a commodity for everything. If it's crime and fire, if you're sick, well, you're going to die because there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Okay, will hydroelectric dam work here and not become inactive? I, I don't even think there's enough water flow to even make that active, but I'm just going to keep it there. So yeah, over here, we're currently looking at expanding with power plants. I won't put this nuclear power plant in a residential area, but I don't think they'll like it. I really don't. I need to make power in this residential place. But, of course, nuclear power plants in this game are pretty big, so I can't. I can, that sounds like an awful idea. I don't, want, I don't want fossil fuels. Nor do I want one of those sun things because it's slightly too big. Just why? Why is everything so big in this game? We did it. We made a nuclear power plant right next to a residential area. That's awesome. Okay, if I would build another road, I'd probably do it, but I, I don't feel like it's worth it, really. So you know what? Let's put out some incineration plants, because I think that would greatly help with any and all trash problems we have. Let's brace a couple through the residential areas. Because, you know, right next to your great-grandmother's house, you like having a garbage burning plant right next to it. That is what a perfect city looks like. Incineration of garbage right next to old Granny Smith's house. Okay, you know what? Wind turbines, they're not that bad of an idea. They don't have carbon emissions. Okay, making them might... But making them is a whole nother thing. It's like a factory, like a steel forge, and steel forges are pretty dangerous to begin with, so I'd give them a tiny bit of slack. Oh no, we have abandoned houses. That's not good at all. Okay, I got impatient. I'm just gonna put some I'm just gonna put some electrical cables different places. Because I want them to start proliferating in population. 
if that's even a word. But yeah, we have officially reached 800 people. That's pretty cool. I want to reach, um, my, I, I hope to reach at least 50,000 because my highest population for a city I've ever reached in this game is 45,000 people. That is it. I'm not even joking when I said that. That is literally it. So yeah, let's build some of these wind turbines to make power distribution more better. And with that, we can do basically anything after that. Power isn't an issue for these people if they have a wind turbine in their backyard. And the thing is about this, I think wind turbines are cool. They look cool. They're not like some ugly, disgusting abomination. They're pretty cool. And hey, they're powered by the wind. Yeah, that, that dam was a waste of time. Maybe the other way, I'm not sure. I don't know why these dams are having so much problems with producing actual energy because none of them are doing so. I don't even think the, I don't think any of them are. I don't think the original one I placed down is doing anything. Okay, here's some child care and elder care offices or actually no. Now that I think about it, I pressed on crematorium. That makes it even better. Everyone's getting a crematorium. Do you know why? Because with no health care, everyone's going to be dying. And with almost 1,300... Oh, with 1,300 people, we're going to have a lot of dead bodies at some point. A lot of people. Especially when the end comes. When the end time. The rapture. When the rapture that was prophesied comes and destroys the city, it'll come. Okay, let's watch this and... Oh... Oh, they couldn't go that way because the roundabouts are one-way circles. That makes this whole thing even better. Okay, the central area with a bunch of train tracks and stuff like that. I think it's a perfect place to just cram a bunch of wind turbines. Because you know why? With it, we can do basically anything. That will be the hub of our power. That'll be where power is born. That will be where the majority of our entire energy production lies. The heart of our energy production, to be exact. Okay, how are they not getting any power? Okay, now they are. Okay, that guy just wanted to not have any neighbors, so... At this point, I kind of feel bad for him, because he bought that piece of land hoping to live a peaceful life. He isn't. Okay... I'm going to put down a bunch of clinics because I can't really fit hospitals in this weird neighborhood cacophony that I've created. Can't really fit neighborhoods. Actually, no. What did I even just say? I can't fit hospitals. Okay, with all this, there's something I'm just going to explain real quick. A hospital is usually a pretty big complex. Specifically, I'm going to take a guess that most hospitals are usually about half a million square feet in floor space or about 50,000 square meters. So imagine just how big these circles are in this game if a hospital is that big. Okay, I don't have any hospitals here, but fairly certain clinics are like, depending on what clinic you go to, it can either be a few thousand square feet or something like that. Yeah. Just placed a bunch of these ocean turbines, because why not? This is beautiful. Petition to build another school. Okay, we'll get you school. Okay, I do want my people to be well-educated, because... I think that's a little important. Not as important as crematoriums, because... Let me say this. Crematoriums are awesome. You know why? They just are. They're awesome because you can burn stuff. That's literally what a crematorium does. It burns things. And I think that's cool. Okay. You know what? Now that I think about it, I think another river might be needed. I know it sounds insane. You might think I'm insane. But I don't care. I am going to do it whether you want me to or not. I'm building another river. I don't care what anyone or anything says. 
Oh my, that train track isn't even connected, and I love it. I love that it's not even connected. Oh wow, this is going to cause so much problems later on. Just having so many just weird disconnected highways and bridges and stuff like that. This is just going to cause problems. And you know what? I like it. I like that it's going to cause problems. And I think the reason that river's flow was able to overpower the other river's flow is specifically because it's higher elevation. Okay, this river, I'm going to make the other one that, you know, just separated the whole thing entirely. I'm going to turn that into its own. I'm going to make that deeper, specifically so the river flows stronger. Why? Because why not? And now that I realize something, there is no way to make that other river's flow stronger. This is the only... This river is going to drain into the one right where everything important is. So yeah, next time I use this map, I'm probably going to just go against the dominant river and not the river that's, you know, able to be flooded far more easily since the lower elevation. Yeah, let's just put all these wind turbines here. Like, this is basically a warning for all birds that think going into the city is a fun holiday. No, it's not. You're going to die. You're going to get hit by these wind turbines. Why would you go to a city that's designed like this? Okay, right here, we're just going to add more roads because there is just so much growing the city needs to do. Like, the city already has enough problems as is, so I think it needs to grow desperately. It's too small. There's Okay. Oh, we just passed 2,716 people. Nice. Okay. I got rid of that little bridge thing. It was, it was like a weird formation of what a bridge was not supposed to be formed. I don't know what I just said, but I don't mind. Also, there are so, so many opportunities for bad traffic in the city because... This is a grid system, and not even, like, a good grid system. Oh, not even a good grid system. Like, a bad one. This is a mediocre grid system. And yeah, with this, I think making this a little larger, like, either the entrance or exit to whatever river this is. Yeah, the Big Island River. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, now that I think about it, we actually have two big island rivers, and I'm gonna, like, soften these corners some, specifically because I don't want them to, like, have a major chance of flooding, and yeah, now that we're back on one of our original islands that I didn't have to create, we are actually going to cover the entire thing with water pipes, because why not, and also, I don't want to deal with it later, so, yeah. Oh, but I mean the entire island. I meant just that small section. That's it. That's all I meant. Let's make this whole island just office spaces. Because why not? People like office spaces. They count as industry in this game. Well, okay, let's get rid of the wind turbine. Some of them just so people have more space. Get rid of these abandoned houses because we don't want squatters. Squatters are evil in this city. I'm not saying that about squatters in real life. Even though some of them are. Okay, what are we going to do about just... I'm not even sure anymore. Okay, I flipped over, and here we have all of our roads for this section complete. Now, this right here is going to be a special district for commercializing stuff. That is actually why there's so many roads. Because I want to fit as much commercial stuff there as possible. I want to make it a good place for people to buy stuff like Lego sets, makeup, whatever people usually buy. And yeah, it's going to be high density commercial. Okay, now I'm back to one of my original islands. Let's put some wind turbines here so power can actually be produced. And you know what? This is a cool, just, I don't, I can't express how cool I think the city is. Okay, let's put a wind turbine inside one of the intersections, connect it there so the buildings can have power. And I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's just reconnect this bridge because it kind of annoys me not being connected. 
Okay, that annoys me too. So let's reconnect this right here. Just reconnect it. That is what? Okay. Now, I'm about to at the top of the mountain, specifically because I want to talk about something. A neighborhood. I want to use a similar method to that one because from a distance, our roundabout neighborhood's pretty beautiful, actually. And when I mean a distance, I don't mean top down, I mean normal. Like, you're looking at it from, like, the top of a mountain, not from a helicopter or a plane. Now, with this, we're just going to be adding a lot of water all over the place, and... You know what? All the water you could ever want. Now, that one island, the first one we created, we're finally getting back to it. After abandoning it and not talking about it, and just pretending it didn't exist for almost the entire time... We're going to be doing this, specifically because just, well, I've kind of put it off, and you know what, I think now it is actually time to just do something with this island, instead of just let it sit there. It's just accumulating dust, and I don't know, like fossils or something like that. Yeah, this is going to be our high-density island, you know, at the intersection of one, two, three, four rivers, five... Actually, no, six, if you count the crossovers to other rivers as their own river. Just wow. Seven, if you count the spillways by that one dam as a river. Okay, now since we're over here, we're going to be basically, we're going to be working a little harder on the electrical grid. Because even with all of our power production... We're making about 2 gigawatts of energy. Even with that... Oh, I, I don't like this. This is ugly. I do not like placing electrical lines. I don't. I think it's ugly and hideous. So, people are going to have to start building actual structures so I don't have to do this. Because I'm sick and tired of doing it. Okay. I'm just at the main neighborhood, roundabout hellscape and all that. Just to show you that one building with all that. It was the police station at abandoned house and all that. I thought it was interesting. And I just wanted to show you that. That is literally all. This island right here, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It's probably going to be where the rich people live. But yeah, here, this is our second take of the actually building stuff. Okay, we're going to build a road there. We're going to build one there, connect it to there, and you know what? We're going to speed up on this process, maybe. Okay, that is awful looking. That I just don't like some of those intersections, specifically that one right there that I accidentally made. Okay, we're not going to put a bridge there. Okay, let's just build out some more infrastructure out here, kind of. Specifically so we can warrant a bridge, kind of. Because I kind of want this thing to be connected. Now we're back to our central landmass right here. Building everything we could possibly want. Now, with these roads, I don't know what they're going to be used. They're most likely going to be mixed use, to be honest. Residential with, like, transport and industrial and all sorts of other crap. Oh. Oh. You're complaining about a police break-in? I mean, criminal break-in? The police don't break in. They only ask if you have a warrant. Or you, they, you only ask if they have a warrant or something like that. I'm not thinking straight. I don't know why, but... Yeah. We need actual, like, crime defense since our city is actually starting to grow. It has a little over 5,000 people now. That's enough to warrant it. And that fire station... I was looking at its parking lot, seeing if there was any crazy parking spots, because I have a few exam- I think I have a picture from one of my previous cities of a school where the high school's parking lot was like on an 80 degree incline, and look at that playground, look at that swing set. Your kids can just swing into traffic. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and if you look closely at the roads, they have grass and sidewalks, so it's plenty walkable. Let's put a hospital here. Another one here. They're not like those giant hospitals that you might see in like cities. They're more like smaller, more manageable hospitals. Okay, let's just build this road right here. And you know what? Now that I think about it, 
I think a high school would... Yep, right there, those types of parking spots. Like, that handicap spot's illegal because it must be level according to U.S. law. Now, I think an elementary school up here would be good, and... Oh! Oh, ho, ho. the playground looks kind of normal. But yeah, one thing I wanted to say... That parking lot, if you didn't see it, because I did my transition to the other city area just to show you how many abandoned buildings where there were. Okay, if your car doesn't have a parking brake, it's going to roll back. But look at this, horse stable. I found a horse stable, and it's pretty cool. So cool that I think that we should have two of them. We should absolutely have two of them. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a pier. Why did I not know that was- why did I not know that was a pier? Okay, that one is whining about not having road access, so let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. There we go. That's what happens when you complain. You get kicked out of the city. That is actually what happens, and... You know what? Look at that truck right there. Look at it. Did you see how it was parked? It was parked on like a 60 degree incline. That is the type of people that live in the city. The type of people that see basic that see a nearly sheer surface and are like, eh, I can park on it. Will a hydroelectric dam work here? Probably not knowing my luck, but No, it's not working. Like, why is it not working? Is all I want to know. Seriously, it should be working. Okay. Okay, I wanna put a wind turbine up here specifically so we can start with development. Because I want to create a mountain area specifically for people to live on and traverse. And I don't want it to be like a normal mountain. Okay, that's cool and all, but... Okay, nah, I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna be working on water because now that I realize it, I am just annoyed. I am getting annoyed at myself for not putting water everywhere. Oh yeah, and this right here... This is like 10 minutes of footage passing by in like maybe 30 seconds right here. 10 minutes of me placing water pipes, making sure they're connected and all that. All that fun stuff. Making sure all of that. Just for you guys. Now, as you can see, our high-density commercial district, I would say like most of the buildings are abandoned. In fact, there's some houses in our low-density neighborhood that are abandoned, and that's not good. And I cannot stress to you just how much I hate these stupid electrical wire things. Like, if I get City Skylines 2, I'm going to be so happy because I'm fairly certain the sewage and water pipes in that game actually have a city. I actually have, like, an electrical line built into them, which is super cool and useful. Let's play some balloons and parking garages because I think that's cool. We need a little bit of something to make people actually want to come here. So, yeah, we're currently adding a parking garage here. Actually, no, we're going to add two. Okay, I think I'm going to add a parking lot or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what I'm adding. Yeah, those are parking lots. You know what? How about instead of just doing that, let's get them right next to each other so we can fit three of them. Let's put some in the high-density commercial district. Those are some awful parking spots. That's all I'm going to say. Oh my, I hope your car has a good braking system, because if it doesn't... Yeah, you're going to roll into... Was that a container ship I just saw in the river? But yeah, these parking spots are pretty terrible, to be honest. And I hope that your car has a good suspension and all that. I really hope so. But yeah. Okay, so I have decided I'm going to put parking lots in a lot of different places and stuff like that. But yeah, on our luxury mountain area, we are going to add some roads. Specifically, we're going to add some of the two-lane roads of sidewalks. Um, yeah, let's see how are we going to get this down. Okay, this right here is pretty cool, if I'm going to say so. Like, I actually think this is cool. Like, seriously, we just made a way to get up there, but it's kind of inefficient. And you know what? I don't mind if it's inefficient. It's still cool. But yeah, we're going to make another way up the mountain, specifically through regular roads. Yeah, I just got to get this road positioned in just the right way so it can actually be placed and so it doesn't just constantly say invalid position 
because I want this mountain to be traversable by basically anyone. I want there to be roads going up the mountain, down the mountain. I want people living on like that gray rocky surface area even. And yeah, so I'm currently thinking about something. Yep, if you can see right here, I'm currently digging out a giant pit using the terrain digging tool and stuff like that. The reason I'm doing such a thing is because I want to make a giant, like, bowl inside of this thing. A giant bowl that I plan to fill with, like, water and stuff like that. But not with any ordinary water. Nope. Poop water. Yes, I'm going to fill this inside area with sewage. That is what my plan is. To fill the inside area of this with sewage. And I hope you guys actually enjoy it because... This is going to be pretty cool in my opinion. Just this giant lake filled with it. And you know what? Let's just currently work on some of the walls around it. Because without these walls, basically we're going to have no form of security. No way to prevent it from spilling out into the public. Which would be pretty disappointing and pretty sad to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make something out this way so we can like place some land next to it. Specifically, some highlands. Because we need somewhere that people can, you know, live and stuff like that. Where people can look down on literally everyone else. So yeah, up here, I'm gonna get rid of that windmill real quick. Make a little tiny mountain right there. Probably flatten it out some. And then right here, we're gonna work a little bit more on making some mountainscapes right here. Specifically, we're gonna make it so that anyone who wants to live here is going to have a e relatively easy time traversing the land. It's not going to be hard, it's not going to be difficult, but yeah. Let's smooth out this mountain some, so it has like a flat top and stuff like that. Okay, we have that right there. That's looking pretty good. Now we have a wind turbine on top of a sacred mound. A mound of dirt on with a wind turbine. Now, in the center here, I want to dig this deeper so we can at least store more water or sewage or whatever we're going to put in here, to be honest. Yeah, I want this to be deeper, at least. Okay, I think, I think we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, even though the walls are getting thinner, don't worry, they won't collapse, because in this game, the walls are literally indestructible unless you have meteors, which that's, a, I believe, a DLC, and I cannot get that. Yeah, I don't have the money for a DLC. But yeah, we're going to make this a little bit higher, specifically so that the sewage does not flood out into the regular land. That is what we're going to be doing right here. Yeah, the big giant river right there might get slightly thinner, but you know what? I kind of don't care. I want this whole place to look weird. I want this place to not function like a normal city. I want it to have... A poop waterfall. That is what I want for this place. A waterfall made entirely out of poop. But that will happen eventually. Okay, found out that is about as deep as you can go for this, which was kind of disappointing, but hey. At least we were able to go pretty deep here. At least we were able to dig down the hole quite deep so we can fit quite a lot of poop in there. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not poop, it's actually sewage. Okay, yeah, let's see. Can we get these in? And, yeah, the things... The water pipes aren't exactly what you consider, um... Normal, because they're floating over a giant pit in the shape of what the mountain originally looked like. So, yeah, let's get that real quick. These ugly power lines. And, uh, now that I think about it, it's gonna take a long, long time for this pit to fill up and stuff like that. So... How about, in the meantime, we figure out what to do? I think building a little island inside of here would be a good idea. Okay, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bad idea. We should not have... We should have made sure that it was level with the bottom of it, so we didn't create a secondary mound in there. So we wouldn't accidentally make the volume of the pool less. Abandoned houses ruin the whole neighborhood. I genuinely don't care if they do. Oh, we're starting to get a lot of sewage now. This is good. This is really, really, really good. We're starting to get everything that anyone could ever want from the city. We're starting to have, like, really good city vibes. 
vibes in the city that are absolutely necessary for a good, good city. Okay, now we're going to put some roads here, specifically designed to go up to the windmill so people can just have a good view and to look down on others, because why not? This is the type of neighborhood where looking down upon your neighbors is a good thing, and also it's the type of neighborhood where it literally does not matter where you live, you're probably going to die at some point from an early and relatively avoidable death. Like, seriously, you could literally avoid the death. It's called not living here. And yeah, as we make our road around this thing, we're basically going to make it so that it is basically a loop. You can go down into that little island down there. You can go here to, like, the highlands, which already have, like, infrastructure set up. I don't mean infrastructure, I mean, like, the bare minimum of infrastructure, like, water and a wind turbine. But yeah, it's set to be um, low-density residential. And now, right here, I have an idea. I think that we should put some parks down. And when we mean some parks, I mean a lot of parks. Because this city is kind of drab, to be honest. Like, there's not a lot of fun going on. Yep, bouncy castles. We need more of them. Actually, I'm not even sure if we need more bouncy castles. We just need parks in general. Oh, these people are happy. So, so happy to get their parks. And you know what? Why not? It's a place where people can get fresh-ish air. Especially that one that's placed right next to an incinerator plant. But yeah, people can get some fresh air. People can actually have an excuse to go outside of their house. You not get hit by a car driving crazily because they're annoyed by the layout of the roads. But yeah, okay, I'm going to tear down this highway. I think it's ugly. And you know what? It's causing a little bit of noise pollution. A little bit too much noise pollution, to be honest. So, one thing I think we should do, just expand the other side of the city real quick. Because I have plans for that highway we just destroyed. Don't worry, I have plans for it. Now, as you can see right here, we're making a big, big road, specifically one into the neighborhood, connecting it to the city so there's no need to go onto the highway and risk your life. And you know what? That's a good thing. You can just drive at regular speed, all while going into the normal, normal, air quotes, normal city. The city that is mostly abandoned buildings, to be honest. And... You know what? The fact that there are, like, two abandoned buildings there, it's kind of sad. There's, like, five abandoned buildings in the entire low-density residential area. We have literally 10,000 people. So, yeah. Basically, my idea is a monorail. We're going to make a monorail system that connects the entire city together so people don't have to drive everywhere. And also, the fact that that one person was complaining about all those abandoned houses really annoys me because just wait until you see the high density commercial district like that is sad that is the definition of sad to be honest okay we have just so many problems here to be honest like first off there are way too many sharp turns for this monorail to actually be would able to go fast like this thing's gonna have to be stopping and st just so many different things. It's gonna have to be stopping, accelerating, everything. It is not gonna be a pleasant ride. Because of all the sharp, just random turns it's gonna have to make that make literally no sense. Yeah, I don't have like one of those fancy road tools in this game because that requires mods and I believe, and yeah, this is actually the Xbox Game Pass version. Yeah, I don't think you can get mods in it. Unfortunately, you can't. So, yeah. My idea, we're gonna place, um... Yeah, right there. I think that's a good place for one of these monorail systems. It'll allow people to go from uh, the regular housing district to, um... The crazy, abandoned ghost town that is our commercial district. Specifically, the high density. I don't know why I keep having to rephrase that, but... I just kind of feel like it. But yeah, that right there is all the ways that the whole thing goes. And yeah, we're just going to do so many 
just totally not questionable things with the construction of this monorail. We're going to make it so that everyone can get wherever they want. We're going to make it so that it's easy to go places. Okay, that was poor design choice. But yeah, let's go up the mountain. Like this. Yeah, totally not a weird looking way to get up here. And, okay. Yeah, there. That is how, that's where we're going to build our thing. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Yep, that is the monorail to get up. Up the top of the mountain. Yeah, you have to make like 190 degree turns in order to get up there or something like that. Okay, it's not 190, but still, you have to make pretty sharp turns to get up here. And you know what? I still think we're doing a pretty good job with this. Because on the bright side, we are actually doing pretty good with this whole thing. We're respecting the trains, we're respecting the highway. Not sure about the people, but you know what? Uh, who cares about the people? Like seriously, who cares about them? That guy literally just got sick. He's probably gonna be sick forever or something because my people, for some reason, they're too lazy to go to the hospital for like, like they could literally have had their limb ripped off and they wouldn't go to the hospital. But yeah, I'm just gonna say this. I don't like this monorail because there's just so many janky, like, there's so many super sharp turns. It just kind of, kind of irks me to some extent. So yeah, currently right here, I'm currently just gonna try and connect it to, well, the other station, that one right there. And that's basically all. That is the entire metro system, which is, yeah, this right here is basically all the public transit we have other than that one train station that literally leads to nowhere other than just yep that is where it goes it goes there and only there doesn't stop on that island doesn't stop on those smaller ones barely even stops anywhere really in fact it only has a few of them now one thing i want to say just ooh, it's already filling up with sewage pretty quickly so yeah, let's put one of these big old displays here. It's like a special type of building. And what is it? Ooh, I think that might be a release date for City Skylines or something, but since this video is being filmed later, and since it's kind of late, well, it's, it's not actually the real release date of City Skylines since it's late. And when I mean City Skylines, I mean the sequel specifically. Yeah, I got rid of that old train station I didn't want. And now, I think it's time to put an airport here. Yep, we're building an airport in the middle of nowhere. Because I think that's cool. And this isn't just any ordinary airport, it's like an international airport. So yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty cool to be honest. Oh, the civilians are happy about it and oh my, oh my. Yeah, I wanna build a smaller airport literally like in order to increase our tourism. Probably just adjacent to it, maybe, but... I I've always liked the airports from this game. Like, they're big, they allow for tourism. I like the international airport, mainly. Not the regular one. I like the international one because it has, like, a croissant design, kind of. I've always liked it. So, yeah. Right here, I'm just gonna be adding more and more water piping and stuff like that. Basically, just supplying water to fill everything. Because you know what? Everything needs water. Literally everything. The airport needs it. The garbage facilities need it for some reason. And ooh, crime rate and power is a little hard to deal with. But you know what? I don't mind. I really don't mind. All I need is this airport to have power. And to have water. Because if it doesn't, then there is no peace. And how are you going to drink out of the water fountains at the airport if there's no water? Like, seriously, how are the airports going to clean the planes? Thing is, do you want to go to an airport that has dirty airplanes? No, no you don't. You want to ride in the shiniest planes imaginable on your way out as a victory carriage. You don't want lameness, you want coolness. You want the coolest planes the world has ever seen. And you know what? Everyone else does as well. So yeah, 
These right here are special monuments. They're basically special items you can place throughout your world only once, though. That is actually why they have that little star thing in the corner of them once you place them. This right here, I'm probably going to try and place it right next to the airport as like a form of immediate, like, close proximity tourism. Because why not? I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's get rid of some of those roads. That right there. Now, let's place out some more roads and basically build out even more grid space. Specifically for more offices or industrial or whatever we're doing. Sometimes I, for, sometimes I just do whatever I feel like just at the random moment. Because a lot of times I don't even do stuff for because I have a plan. A lot of times I don't. So yeah, with my airport, I hope to build a, I hope to build one of these special buildings literally right next to it. This is because I want it to be like a tourist attraction to lure people to the airport itself. And you know what? This is an airport. It's big, like huge. Airports are giant. They usually cover over a square mile of space, but well, these are huge airports. I don't think City Skylines has the capacity for realistically huge airports so yeah they're smaller and stuff like that only with two runways when most airports have a lot more yeah so as looking around our city there's a lot of pretty cool places so far some of them are not doing that well others are actually doing pretty well for example our one neighborhood area it's doing pretty good now let's place this giant luxury tower for rich people to stay Actually, no, they could probably live there, to be honest. It'd probably be better than living on the ground, to be honest. Okay, let's put this whatever it is there. I believe it's a zoo or something. I kind of don't even know what we're placing down, but yeah. That might be a parliament building, I'm not sure. But yeah, there are a whole lot of things I don't even... Yeah, we're putting a cinema there, because why not? You want to hear the sound of the gushing river as you're watching a movie... I wonder what movie they're going to be watching. Oppenheimer, Barbie, whatever. They might be watching literally anything. It doesn't even matter. Okay, this right here. I think this is like a stadium right here. We're not be. We're, I don't think we can put it in the residential area. But if we try, we probably could. Yep, that's as close to a residential stadium as we can get. And to be honest are nearly 13,000 people are pretty happy. Like, just look at this whole city. We already have tons of lights everywhere. We have tons of buildings. We have some of these balloon building things. I believe they're Chipper, which is like this game's version of Twitter, which, to be honest, I wish the Twitter kept the bird for one reason. Because, thing is, this game has its own version of Twitter, known as Chipper, and it's so much better than the actual, like, application and stuff like that. Okay, I'm just gonna place a bus terminal, to be honest, because I want to make, like, maybe a bus line or something, I don't know. I want to make buses a thing in the city, specifically to make sure people aren't as car dependent, so, you know, people can actually get around still. Okay, right there, we're gonna place one. And you know what? Let's create a new line. Okay, I'm gonna add a stop right there. Let's add a stop in the commercial district. And we're gonna put it on pretty far away from that one stop. We're gonna take it all the way to the dam with the sewage pumps. We're gonna take it to another obscure spot in the, su in the district. Well, the commercial district, duh. We're going to put it in this random use district, the office district. We're going to take it under the highway twice, weave it under. Then we're going to take it there, there, and then boom, it makes that confusing, weird double eight figure. Or I don't even know what it's called. I believe it's just called an eight figure or something. Yeah, figure eight. That's what it's called. Just a figure eight. So yeah, I think our bus line's beautiful. And you know what, just because I just because I can, that might just be the only bus line we're doing. And why not? I'm just gonna put down some taxi stations. Oh, that guy was unhappy. 
I literally ruined that dude's life. I don't care. This is City Skylines. This isn't The Sims. If it were The Sims, it would be a completely different story ruining someone's life. In City Skylines, you can ruin people's lives on a mass scale, and nobody cares. You could literally kill someone in this game. It wouldn't. Nobody would care. Except for that person's family, which makes up like not even a percent of the whole population. And you know what? People won't give you bad press for it because you're the mayor of a city of thousands of people. They don't care. They really don't care. So yeah, I'm just putting these taxi places everywhere specifically because I want to make sure people can use taxis, do carpool and stuff like that. Yeah, let's get people into the normal section of the city. Specifically, let's get them over the highway and into, well... Well, let's just say the more economically productive part of the city. The part of the city where all the jobs are. We need to get them there because we can't just have a bunch of lazy citizens and... Okay, now that I think about it, this place up here would be a far better place for people to live, but... Nobody wants to live up here. Like, I'm not even joking. Nobody wants to live here. That is... I think that's because I have too much residential area in the, um, in the whatever you call it. Yeah, the roundabout place. I have too much residential area there. Way, way too much residential area. So we're going to make this high density, low cost housing right here. And you know what? Now that I think about it, we need some more luxury one-off buildings. Okay, that's cool and all, but let's see. Oh, that's actually, that's pretty cool. It'll work. It's like a beacon or whatever it is. Yeah, I think that's a good location for our library of future or whatever it's called. Okay, space arena or sports arena, whatever it was called. Ooh, the Christmas festival area is pretty nice. Let's put it up, um, up in the mountains right here. The panda sanctuary. This, let's put it nearby our raging river. That could easily flood. Let's, yeah, let's just put it way there. Oh, the Oriental Pearl Tower. Yeah, I've actually seen pictures of this in China. It's pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah, let's just build a road here so it's, like, at a 40... It's at a 90-degree angle area. So, you know, it's at a block or corner. I'm not... I'm starting to lose track of what I'm even saying, but yeah. Basically... We just need to add stuff that's cool, basically. Yeah, we need to make everything here cool. And I do mean everything. Everything here needs to be cool. Okay, now that I think about it, I'm not I don't I kinda don't even care if the if the power lines are literally like attached to a bridge, I don't care. Like if they're right next to one, I don't care. It's if they're just on their own. Okay. That is a whole lot of cars right there. There's a whole lot of cars being spawned by the airport. I think the airport might have been the best invention that our entire thing, that our entire city has ever had. So you know what? You get two parking garages. Now that I think about it, I think three would be better. Just trying to figure out where to place the third one. Maybe I might not. I'm not sure. You know what? You need a balloon house. Balloonacy is what I call it. Some people call it balloonacy. I call it a good use of taxpayer dollars. Seriously. Every good mayor to have ever lived has wasted all their taxpayers' dollars on balloons. On hot air balloons. I'm not joking. Yeah. Um, one of the presidents of the United States, I think, had a missing quote. Yeah, a quote that's been lost to history. Um, it might have been one of the early presidents, like, who said it. I believe they said, we must spend all of our taxpayers' dollars on flying apparatuses. Considering the fact that they used the word apparatus, I'm going to take a guess it was probably one of the first ten presidents who said it. So yeah. Let's add another road into the city. Let's add a road here, specifically... Okay, that was the wrong way. Yeah, let's add it out. Yeah, that's so people can get on and into the highway and all that. I think that's actually a pretty decent intersection now that I think about it. And you know what? High-density island's looking pretty decent. Just 
everything. This whole island's looking pretty good, and balloons. That is a whole lot of balloons. I don't think it's enough. No, it is not enough balloons. A health, there is no such thing as a healthy amount of balloons. Actually, do you know why? Because you can never have too many of them. That is why there is no such thing as a healthy amount. Because a healthy amount doesn't exist. It is not scientifically proven to have a healthy limit. A limit doesn't exist, believe it or not. Like, there's no such thing as one. Like, I believe Stephen Hawking said it. Like, you can read through his papers. He said, balloons do not have a limit. Everyone ha needs infinite balloons. There is no limit. Yeah, I, he might have said that. I'm not sure. Or I might just be reading a Wikipedia page after someone edited it. I'm not sure. But yeah, basically, we need all, and I mean all, of everything we can possibly get. We need all the balloons we can possibly get. We just need everything cool, to be honest. All the cool stuff. You know what? Pharmacies and stuff like that. I said, no. These, I keep forgetting. These are crematoriums we're placing down. Yeah. The airport, two crematoriums. Yeah. Because the moment you get off your plane, you want to be met with two places where corpses are turned into ashes. We'll put one there, put one there, put one there, and another one there. Oh, and also another one there. Okay, we're going to put some more here. And you know what? We're putting a lot of them everywhere. Because I think that they're probably the most important thing in this whole city. Okay, that is a... That hospital's in a weird position. Like, all those houses just surrounding it, and then there's just a big, giant industrial hospital, or whatever it was. No, there was a fire station. Oh my, I don't know why I keep mixing them up. The hospitals and fire stations look kind of similar in this game, so yeah, I, I think I don't really blame myself for mixing them up. I think it's an honest mistake, to be honest, because both of them are red and white. Like, they can both easily be mixed up for one another. Okay, I don't think we need any more crematoriums right at the moment, but one thing I will say, there's some pretty cool stuff we do need. Yep, garbage incineration plants. We absolutely need that. Like, I think there's one person, one singular lonely person that actually lives on this mountain. Well, other than the people in the low density ones, the high density one nearby that wind turbine, yeah, there's one singular person, I think. And you know what? All of them. All of them get power. Everyone here gets power. And yeah, that lake is filling up really fast, to be honest. I think it's seriously impressive. Oh, and these spots in the grass, I didn't know you can actually delete them. That's pretty fascinating. But unfortunately, these people spawn them in. And I like how people are just parking on the side of a roundabout. That is just probably the stupidest thing you could possibly do. Oh, of course that hospital has a messed up parking lot. Because this is city skylines. Normal parking lots aren't allowed. Okay, the handicap spot's still illegal. The, like, later third of those other parking spots literally go off or, like, tilted on a 25 degree incline down. I don't know about the parking spots of those other buildings I placed, but I hope they are not good. I hope they're like chaotic parking spots, to be honest. Okay, I think we just removed one person from their home, which sounds bad, but in this city is a good thing. Getting evicted is a good thing in this game. Let's add a high school, these places, hospital, university, why not? I think this is a pretty good investment. We have all three levels of college and education and whatever, all the smart stuff on that little island for everyone, so they can realize why living here is such a horrible idea. Okay, the parking spots are looking normal. You know what, I'll let it pass for some of these people. Some of these people are gonna live more well off than others, but you know what, it's to be expected. Unfortunately it is. I just wish everyone could get the worst parking spots imaginable. Say, so yeah, let's build some fire stations and, like, security stations. Specifically, in order to, like, get these roads to be green. Because green happens to be the color of money. And you know what? 
money is pretty cool. It's not everything, but it's pretty cool. It allows you to do all sorts of crazy stuff, like buy city skylines. Okay, we need more balloons. More, 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 more. The balloons need to blot out the sky. The ballooner eclipse. The ballonic eclipse. We need the eclipse. We need balloons to create the next eclipse. Not the sun and the moon. Not the moon covering the sun in a very specific way. Nope, we need balloons to cause the eclipse. Do you know why? Because it would be cool. Because we'd find out it's made of a bunch of bootleg Twitter birds before Elon got rid of it. Which is probably the worst decision Elon's ever made in his life. Why would you remove the bird? It's such a famous part of Twitter. Like, seriously, why would you remove it? Do you know what it proves to all of us? It proves to all of us that he is secretly one of the pigs from Angry Birds. You know why? Because this meme image I saw proved that. And it proved it as a fact. The reason that image was factual is because, obviously, the Angry Birds are real. Look, look at this image. Yeah, they're obviously real. It totally wasn't just an AI-generated image. Anyway, we're back onto our mountain right here. We placed down a couple little buildings. Now we're going to put down our wind turbines so we can power our balloon- our balloon sea. For some reason, that's one of my new favorite words. balloon sea which is lunacy and balloon combined together, and I just really like that word. Okay, let's put another balloon station right next to the airport, because, yeah, floating hazards right next to an international airport is perfect. Like, it's obviously a recipe for good marketing and, you know, safe travel. Oh, and I like how all the balloons are just congregating in one area. I love it. Like, whoever lives there, they're just gonna get land for free because they have to deal with this. Yeah, we need even more balloon areas, specifically because this is the only thing that truly matters. Now, let's place down some roads to actually make this place more traversable because I don't want it to be, uh, I don't want you to have to take back roads just to get to like the grocery store. No, I want it to be so that you can just drive down the street and go to the grocery store. Of course, it's gonna be grids because it's in the city skylines, grids are pretty efficient. They're not the best, but they're not the worst either. We'll switch to our four-lane road. Attach it here because I have an idea for more air travel and stuff like that. Now, this area that I'm building, it's going to be pretty big, and I actually plan on some pretty big things for this place. I plan on having, like, a full, like, district of something. I'm not entirely sure what. I'm gonna take a guess it might be, like, commercial, maybe, like, mixed use and stuff like that. My main other idea is commercial officing and stuff like that, specifically inside the airport area with this, like, little road that I'm building. That's what I hope to have. Just airport stuff like that. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna try and fit more balloon areas real quick. Because I really like these balloons. Yeah, so far we were able to fit a pretty sizable amount. And I cannot wait until we have so many of them. Okay, we're just going to place out this one road. Because I personally want it to connect to the highway. So people can have direct access to the city. And also the neighborhood. And of course that didn't make the neighbor people happy. They didn't make anyone happy to be honest. Because... The people on the highway have to take like a 120 degree turn just to get onto the road and stuff like that and into their neighborhood. And yeah, we're making these confusing double intersections that have like six different points you can get off at. You can either go straight, left twice, right twice, or just backwards if you're a maniac. And now we're back at our mountain right here. Specifically, we're going to be adding some roads and stuff like that, because I think at this point, we need some roads on this mountain to make it far more traversable. Like, seriously, we need, need roads up here, because without it, how are people going to climb through and all that other stuff? How are people going to have a good experience in their mountain life and stuff like that? How? Exactly. 
They're not. So yeah, we desperately need roads up here to make this mountain livable. And we're gonna make it like San Francisco, but somehow even worse. Like, imagine that. We're somehow making San Francisco, which is a city in California, which is a super hot and overly priced state. California has its own issues, but yeah, we're just gonna make it casually worse, because why not? Because I think that's actually good. Especially in city skylines, because doing that in real life is just cruel, and I think that's like a crime against humanity. So yeah, just doing this, we're basically making the world's greatest little, um, hillside village, basically. Uh, if you can even call it that. It's more like a hillside of eyesore. But yeah, with this, we're gonna have plenty of low-priced, low-density, or high-density, or... To be fair, it's gonna be more like high-density, because there is no way you can get low-density housing on a hill like this. The roads are just going wherever they feel like it. A lot of times they're just connecting straight up to bridges because it's all they can connect to. And also, my goal to get some of these roads all the way down here, connecting these two on like this, like I want to say like 50 degree incline. I want roads going down and stuff like that. Yeah, roads like that I want. And do you know what? I wish I could get a road from there, but it's probably too steep. Yep, just a bridge. A, yeah, four-way stop on a bridge that absolutely no one respects. You know what? Now that I think about it, we're going to make it a better bridge. Probably a, um, yeah, we're going to make it. Yep, four-way stop again. This time, one of those turns is a beyond 90-degree turn. Actually, two of them are. And just, wow. That is an awful road. Like, it nearly made a bridge over an already existing road. And, of course, someone on the toilet bowl seat, whatever this thing is, is sick again. Well, that's what happens when you live nearby a giant crater full of poop water. You get sick. It's not my fault. You decide to move there. Oh, wow. I'm, as I'm just placing these, like, healthcare buildings... I just realized just how many abandoned buildings there are in the high-density commercial area. Like, it is embarrassing how many there are. But yeah, we're going to be placing more hospitals around, specifically for purposes of just making this place, like, livable, making sure our people don't die at, a, like, 20. That's what we're doing, because there's a whole lot of ways for people to get, like, black lung or something like that here. Let's put some education down. These, I believe, yeah, these are elementary schools. So yeah, let's get some of them down. We're then probably gonna put some high schools and stuff like that just to make it better. Okay, let's get some care facilities in the middle of the city because the people on the Poop Mountain, they already got a lot of it. So let's give the people living in the uh, mainland, let's give them some health care as well. Okay, I'm tired of this whole water issue. Like. I feel like before all my City Skylines playthroughs, I should just put water down and just, that's it. That's the first thing I do. Put water down before doing anything else. And, okay, now that I think about it, yes, another airport is absolutely necessary. Absolutely. So, yeah, we have two airports right next to each other. Okay, this, yeah, we're going to need to do some terraforming real quick. Okay, with this terraforming being done, we're going to fit yet a third airport here, specifically because I think that is the best way of to use taxpayer dollars. Build an airport next to an airport next to an airport with air with runways that almost intersect with each other. I think that's a perfect use of taxpayer dollars. And I'm just gonna take a guess, there's probably gonna be some more flooding at some point. But you know what? I don't care. Because I don't live in this city in real life. If I did, I would have probably either drowned in the river because of the crime rate. And that's basically all. Just so many things that can do... So many things in the city that can kill you. These balloons areas, they don't have water. So yeah, if you die of dehydration there, yeah, you're gonna die. Okay. You know what? Now that I think about it, we're actually struggling with um, providing water. 
for everyone. So now we're just gonna get these, um, we're gonna get more water pumps, basically. I think, right now, I think that literally every single building in the entire, in the, that entire office area is completely abandoned. That is just sad. That is really sad, and it shows that these people either, they're either A, really lazy, or they work from home. There's, like, no in-between, because how are those places so dirty? Actually, no. Uh, I, when I said dirty, I was just looking at that river that of poop that we created. Wow, that is awful. Oh, my. But, yeah, they're empty. Just how empty all those things are. But, yeah, we're going to place our low-density housing on the side of this hill, because why not? Because I think that... You know what, if anyone should move in here first, it's the people with low-density housing. Having a prosperity, having a prosperous neighborhood, and having the idea that, oh, this is all for us. Nope, we're putting some commercial buildings right next to you. Luckily, it's low-density commercial, so hopefully it's not that bad for them. Unlike the high-density commercial, where almost every building is abandoned. And more crematoriums, baby! Yeah! More crematoriums! Look how happy they all are. Everyone here loves crematoriums. Like, they cannot get enough of them. And you know what? Since we're almost 20,000 people, that's a good thing. We need more of them. Okay, let's go down here to build, like, a, a crappier neighborhood. Like, I, I don't... I wouldn't exactly consider it the hood. I'd consider it, like, the sketchy part of town. Like, you're at the bottom of the, um, bottom of the poop bowl structure thing that's just there. And you know what? You had to live there. Oh, and you're right next to the mostly abandoned district that is definitely filled with squatters and stuff like that. And, oh, people got sad. Like, the whole city got sad. Okay, yeah, let's just put more crematoriums and hospitals and fire stations down because... You know what, now that I think about it, police stations. We need more of those because crime is a serious problem in the city. Yeah, let's just put down some, like, full-size fire stations as well. And, oh, oh, Lord. Why, do you guys, why are you guys complaining about electricity? Just be happy you guys even get to live there. You should be happy you get a view of this river with, like, the most chaotic street of all time and this right here yeah we just built a space agency because our government yeah let me just say this our budget is through the roof it's like a 12 digit budget basically actually now that i think about it it's more like a 15 digit budget or something like that i'm not even sure at this point all i know it's a big old budget a really big budget and you know what a while back, I deleted some of those um, uh, poop pump things because they were taking up a lot of space. So, you know what? Here we are. Let's just add more of them. Actually, no, I didn't delete any of them. I'm... Yeah, I sometimes forget what I do when I make these videos. Like, it can be a little chaotic of just remembering everything I did because especially this video being a little over three hours long, it makes it a little complicated for me to remember stuff. But yeah, luckily, we don't have any more sewage issues. We have plenty of sewage evacuation right here. And don't worry, we have plenty of it. There is no need to worry. Now, we're back at one of our highways, specifically the one that was split in half. We parted it like the Red Sea, and now we're going to put, um, we're going to make it go under the road specifically so we can make like a tunnel system and so we can do all that okay let's put some um i'm just gonna probably put up like a bus terminal right next to um right next to the airports yeah that's what i'm doing because oh that is awful a power line that goes over the airport runway that is awful and a half and i love it yeah, we need more balloon centers because our city totally does not have enough of that. Oh, and if you're wondering why um, so many people are living in squalor, balloons. That is literally the entire reason why we live in squalor. We live in squalor and filth because of balloons, and that's literally it. 
balloons and building random projects that take up most of our government's budget. Okay, let's build a park here and all this. And you know what? I'm actually thinking about getting City Skylines too. now that I think about it. Only if I can build tons of balloons just like this. If I can't, I'm not doing that. Also, we have the Statue of Liberty on land, not on Ellis Island or wherever the Statue of Liberty is. I don't even know at this point because there's a whole lot of weird names for the islands, especially in New York because... Yeah, New York's kind of a weird place. Yeah, let's just add the Eye of London right here, because why not? Yeah, and it's right next to an airport, so if a plane accidentally takes a wrong turn, well, let's just say there's going to be a huge problem. The axle of that Ferris wheel is going to break, and it's just going to roll into the river. Okay, we have some more buildings right here. Yeah, these are just some, like, random parks and stuff that just happen to be part special buildings, which I don't get. Okay, we need money less than one. Oh, I don't think that's possible since we have infinite money on. Yeah, we have our posh mall, or I think this is our posh mall or something like that. I don't know. We placed a luxury thing right next to our people, and they're pretty happy. You know why? It's awesome. That is literally why. Okay, grand mall. This is a pretty cool looking structure, but I think we should put it more in like the original center of the city. Tax office, um... I'm not entirely sure what that building is that I just added. Probably a government building and all that, but yeah. Another stadium, because why not? A government building, I believe that's a Congress building. Oh, this right here is pretty cool looking. I think it's like a high-rise or something like that. Pretty nice. That Oriental Pearl Tower on top of the Little Mountain. That's awesome right there. Like, genuinely awesome. And right now, we're doing pretty good with all this. And I'm just going to say this. Uh, is there anything else we could add? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, let's just do some zoning so we can at least get the buildings that we want. And yeah, imagine this. You're in your office building, working your 9 to 5. And all you can hear is, like, A380s and all that. Boeing 747s. It's all you can hear. And also, just be lucky that you don't... Concords aren't in service because... Yeah, they're loud enough to set off car alarms, and that's not even when they're going supersonic. Yeah, Concords are some of the loudest passenger planes, like, ever. And you know what? That is another reason why we should bring them back. Because why not? Seriously, our world is loud enough already. We need... We, why not just bring back Concord? Like, it's loud, but that's not even an excuse anymore. Let's put some wind turbines by our rocket launch pad and stuff like that. You know what? These people are being picky. Let's just give them an entire wind turbine. Let's give these people a wind turbine. Yeah, their houses are being broken into like crazy. So let's add some police stations right there, two right next to each other. Because, yeah, I think city spending allows us to do that. Having like literally no budget. And when I mean that, I don't mean like we're poor. But, like, be having anything we could possibly ever want has made everything better. Yeah, let's tear down some of these abandoned buildings in our commercial district just for adding stuff. Now we're back at our airport area, and we're going to add some care buildings because these people really want care. Like, they want to be cared for a lot. Okay, this right here that we're building. Yeah, we were building some elder care, child care. Oh, and more crematoriums, because they absolutely love crematoriums. Like, seriously, these people, the things they love, elder and child care buildings and crematoriums. You know what? Let's put, like, six of them right next to each other. Yeah, but let's put a seventh one right across the street. And you know what? These people, if they're going to die, why not be cremated? It's literally free in the city because the, it is such a low profit industry. Crematoriums are like, they make no money in the city. And so far, our giant bowl of poop is doing pretty good. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's a little surprise. Don't worry. Now, right here, we have some. Yeah, let's just set up some high density housing right here because why not? 
people totally want to live underneath of this cloud of balloons, this living, breathing mass that flies through the sky at all times, I think it's a pretty good way to live. This is obviously the optimal way of life. Oh yeah, and let's put a let's put an industrial like factory area right in the middle of the city because people will love that. Don't worry. Now let's just put some high density housing on this hellscape mountain, specifically because, well, why not? We'll put some low density housing there in the like weird area right there. Okay, let's put some uh, high density commercial like literally inside the airport. Some more offices here. And, um, yeah, let's just, let's just put whatever we need to put in these places. Okay, the balloon line of balloons has been separated into two. So, yeah, we can add even more of them, because why not? We can have some office building right next to the balloon building. And these people right here don't have power, so, I don't know, let's just build our first, no, second... Yeah, let's build two coal plants or oil refineries. I'm not even sure what they are. And kind of don't even care because they're not green and they're not easy to set up in this game. Like a nuclear power plant, you can just plop one down. And you know what? It's That's how it works. Plop one down, boom. You never have to refuel it again. Okay, this right here, we're going to connect that to the highway. But since the highway goes the wrong way from the city you can't get down here without going through this entire neighborhood area so yeah that is what i think is pretty good design okay now that i think about it we should just do okay i want neighborhoods as close to the runway as possible like i want people to live eat sleep and breathe jet fuel like, I want people to do that. You know why? Because it's necessary for survival. You know why? Because humans, a part of the human diet is jet fuel. Specifically, hearing it combust and be used in turbine engines. That's a very important part of life. And that is why people statistically love living next to airports. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. Nobody wants to live next to an airport. Let's put a hospital right there. Let's put some more, um... Yeah, let's put some of these solar farms right here, because why not? Like, seriously, these people are crybabies about not having power. Like, come on, you can't handle a power outage for, like, I don't know, like, 30 minutes? You can't handle it? Wow, you guys are weak. Let's put three, four of them right there, because why not? And you know what? I think the people like it. Oh no, there's some dead people and sick people. And you know what? Now that I think about it, that whole highway problem where people weren't able to get across and weren't able to, like, go to the neighborhood without having to, like, go the other way or... Yeah, weren't able to go to the city without going the other way. You know what? We're fixing that. Every, like, every 30 feet for the highway... There is a, there's a section where you can just turn around and stuff like that. And, yeah, that's why I made the highway underground. So we can have another district area on top of it. Okay, so far I think we're actually doing pretty good. Now that I think about it, I actually kind of want to place another airport. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, we have three airports right next to each other, and I want to put another one in. Because I don't think our tourism is making enough money. Actually, no, it's not even tourism at this point. It's just travel. Travel is making us more money than tourism. So, yeah, let's just put another airport in right there. You know, nothing can go wrong. Like, literally nothing can go wrong. So, yeah, let's just add it. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm actually going to do that a little later. Because why not? Also, what I'm doing right here is we're on the other side of the map right now. Why are we here? Simple, to build a little plateau, because I had gotten a brilliant idea. Because I'm going to build a super, super high altitude airport. Where has everyone gone? Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just built a spire in the river, and that cannot be good for flooding and water displacement. That is, that is definitely a flooded dam to happen, and 
Yep, the dam is being flooded. Oh, goodness. Yeah, let's just get rid of it and... Okay, now that I think about it, I don't like the train tracks down here and... Like, when we're this high up in the sky, where... How are my kids? Buddy, woman, your kids are probably gonna die of, like, I don't know, like... Fe fecal inhalation, or if that's even a real thing. They're probably gonna die of it and... Oh, that railroad. Yeah, let's get rid of it. It's interrupting our... It's interrupting the beautiful plateau that's gonna house our fourth airport because we totally need four of them. Okay, that road is damaged. I think the road is damaged there because of, like, water and stuff like that, but you know what? I don't even care. Oh, my. This thing is so high that planes almost crash into it. That is lovely. And you know what? This thing is even better for another reason. It blots out the sun for the high-density commercial district. That just makes it even better. It blots out the sun for them. To be fair, they kind of deserve it since every house, since almost every building is abandoned. Like, you're going to mistreat my commercial district and then think, Boo-hoo, we don't have sunlight. Well, you should have inhabited my commercial district. And then I would have probably been more grateful for to you. Instead, you guys decide, we're going to neglect this gift that we were given by our mayor, and we're going to let it rot and be abandoned for squatters to come live inside of. Oh yeah, let's just increase the size of our plateau, if you can even call it that. I think this is more of an, an earth tumor or something like that, because... I don't think there's any structure on Earth that even closely resembles this. Maybe a mountain or something like that, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, let's get rid of whatever I just made in there. Okay, now, we're gonna basically close this thing off, and if you know, you know. Like, if you know how this game functions, then you know what we're gonna fill this with. That's right, we're gonna fill it with feces. Poop. We're gonna fill it with poopy water. Poopy juice, even. And you know what? We're at 29,000 people. I think that these people could easily fill this thing up pretty quickly. Oh, and yeah, we're not putting a small airport. Yep, international airport, baby. Oh, my. Like, half of the air... Like, a decent amount of the airport's just ready to fall off of that thing into the pit itself. You know why? Because we don't hire good engineers or architects. We hire the laziest, cheapest ones possible. And yeah, I can't believe there are trees growing on nearly sheer surfaces. But you know what? We're going to add some of these poop pumps right here, specifically sewage pipes. We're going to add all of them here solely for the purpose of just dumping sewage inside of here. And you know what? This might be a long process, but hopefully you guys are able to understand how long it takes. Because if you've ever played this game before, you should understand this is not a quick process. And uh, yeah, we're, of su we're at such a high level right now that basically there is no way that we can just... There is, like, no way for us to send a pipe straight down. We have to wrap it around the plateau. Can't even believe what getting a road up here is going to be like. It's probably going to be awful, to be honest. Okay, we have that, and... So far, we're getting our sewage outflow. Yep, it's going into the pit, and it's going to fill up at some point. And you know what? I hope it fills up relatively quickly, because I don't want to spend a year doing this. Okay, it's not going to take a year. I don't want to spend, like, a month playing this game on and off just for it to not fill up in time. Yeah. Oh, the airport's complaining about garbage issues right now. You could literally throw it into the giant pit. It doesn't matter. You can throw it in. But you know what? Since you're being picky and lazy, we're going to give you two incinerators right in front of you. We're going to give you a high school, a college, whatever you want, basically. Except for oxygen. Because we're so high up, there's probably a low oxygen warning on every single sign in this place. You know what? Community college, and... Yeah, in that time I skipped, I also added more of these because I'm kind of getting a little impatient right now. 
yeah. Those ones I disconnected because why not? Yeah, I also disconnected them because I just don't want them anymore. They're taking too much of the sewage and just wasting it. No, why not just put it into the actual pit that we built for it? Let's get some more high density housing. Yeah, like literally right across the street from like an industrial factory and stuff like that. Why not? That's an awesome, awesome idea. All of this and oh wow, there's a lot of sick people. Oh my, people are complaining about the waterworks getting people sick. Disconnected power grid. Well, you're not wrong. There is a disconnected power grid. Okay. Now, we're back up at the top of our structure. Probably gonna put some high-density... Or, actually, no, now that I think about low-density housing, because I don't think... I don't want to put families up here. Because their kids, if they're playing, they could fall off the plateau or into the pit and die, and that's just sad. Like, I may be being an awful, awful mayor, but that's just sad, even for me. So yeah, let's put two police stations and a fire station in here for safety. Yeah, safety, because why not? Okay, so far it's feeling up pretty good right now, and now that I think about it, we should definitely add a fire station somewhere. I think we should... Yep, right there. Right there we should add one. Okay, let's put them here, and... Yeah, that part of the highway that's gray, I want to make that area green like money. Because why not? And also, green in this game is good. Very, very, very good. Okay, so we are currently back in our main central area of the city. Just placing down some random buildings so these people shut up about education or health or whatever they're complaining about, to be honest. Yeah, let's add another bridge to our first high-density island. Not entirely sure what we're even going to call it once I plan districts, but yeah. I do plan on making districts for this, like actual genuine districts. But you know what? We need some office zones that are actually close to where most of the people live and not across a river. Oh, what's this thing? It says it's a cathedral, but now that I think about it, I don't know if that's a cathedral. It looks more like a, um, a... It looks more like a crazy government building. Like that one monument at the Soviets building that was planned. And I'm just gonna say, that is the ugliest cathedral I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, that looks like garbage. Like, when I think of cathedrals, I think of beautiful buildings, not weird monument spires. And you know what? We need more areas for people to live and traverse, so let's just build them already. Yeah. And, well, we're up here already on top of this. Now you might be wondering, why are we up there? Well, I skipped the entire road building process for that stupid bowl thing because I did not want to do it. I did not want to show you guys. It was stressful. I was angry the entire time because it was very frustrating. And you know what? I would much rather you guys just admire the traffic than have to watch that whole road thing. And oh my goodness. There are sick people. Nobody's going to the cathedral because our city is full of heathens. Oh my. Yeah. I like that our original high density island is doing good, and I love that our big, giant, sprawling roundabout land is doing awesome. Like, I would actually live in the roundabout area if I had to live here. No, I'm not kidding. I would actually live in that roundabout area. And then there's this this place nearby the original poop storage facility. Like, just wow. Why would anyone intentionally want to live here? Why would anyone spend tens, if not hundreds of thousands living here just to get traffic that looks like this? Like, whoever lives in that, like, whatever poor schmuck lives in that apartment definitely has an IQ under 80 for thinking this is a good place to live. Anyway, we're back on top of our little hill. And you know what? Let's just build a grid system because I want more people living here. 
because I am getting a little impatient. Oh, and I like that we made like a little tunnel right there. That's actually pretty cool if I say so. Okay, let's connect this right behind our ugly cathedral. And you know what? I've skipped today because I don't want to deal with that. Now, let's make a bridge across our, um, our soon-to-be river, soon-to-be Poop Niagara Falls. Let's build it on the other side of our original part east of our landmass. And you know what? We're going to do this specifically because I just feel like it. And also, I feel like this side of the island has been barren and peaceful for far too long. And you know what? This part of the island tolls. Actually, no. This is a piece of the mainland. I don't even think it is a piece of the mainland. No. That area where we built our roundabout part is the mainland. That area is the delta dividing it. And okay, now that I think about it, putting a toll booth in the city would be awful. So no. Yeah, let's just connect some there. Oh, and we're going to be using dirt roads to connect them because why not? Oh, and there's going to be, like, no form of coherence. Yep. It has been so long that we skipped tonight. Now, you see all those wooden-covered bridges? That's what happens when you make a bridge out of a dirt road. And, yeah, that's where it starts right there. Let's put a solar facility, some um, wind power turbines, or whatever they're called. Windmills! I don't know why I'm struggling to do this, but, yeah. Let's connect some roads right here. Oh no, we have to we have to fulfill water needs for these places. Well, I bet toll booths have water fountains as well. So you know what? It's necessary for them. Everybody needs water. It's a basic human right. And you know what? So is food. So yeah, food and water are a necessity here. We have lots of people living off the side of that. And oh, I've looked down to our population. We have exceeded 52,000 people, making this by far my most populated city. Oh yeah, and that little kink that I put into the bridge, that like just jagged turn, that was to annoy the people that live in like that stupid, like tiny little apartment building, like right next to the bridge and on that super traffic filled road. Do you know what? Do you know what makes me happy? We don't have a single cemetery here. But now that I think about it, more crematoriums, baby! Yeah! Oh, and two cemeteries. Because why not? For the people who don't like crematoriums, we have cemeteries. Okay, and yeah, now that I think about it, this bridge is awful. Like, it goes around the entire city with no coherence, and it goes there, there with like a 150 degree turn. Just, there is no coherence with any design in this bridge. It goes that way, because why not? And then finally, goes on that island. Yeah, it's just a wild goose chase of a bridge, and there is nothing about it that is co convenient. Convenient. There's nothing about it that's convenient or coherent in any way. It's a genuinely terrible bridge. It was a waste of taxpayer dollars, but as I said earlier, balloons are our biggest expense for taxpayer dollars. So yeah, why not building a bridge that is stupid and overly complicated add on to our taxpayer dollars? Oh, and you know what? If you want to get off the bridge, no, I'm kidding. You're not getting off that bridge. The tool booth area... Yeah, some of those tool booths, I made two of them. They're going to go to a secondary industrial district. That's going to have to cross over railroad tracks. Okay, so far we have five. Five times right here. Okay, that's a six right there. Okay, let's see. Can we get it under that bridge? Can we? Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Can we make it ten? Okay, 10. 11. Okay, let's see. Can we make it more? Can we make it more? I, I don't know how many times that we've made a bridge that goes under or over a train track or through one. I'm going to take a guess it's over 10 times because, yeah, when going to your industrial factory job, 
you totally want to deal with trains and windy roads on a flat ground, because why not? Okay, people are struggling to meet demands for resources, so we're going to have to make industrial stuff. And you know what? That one airport I was planning? Yeah, we're building it now. It's going to be connected by a dirt road, though. Oh, are you kidding me? I have to make this um, piece of land larger. This is probably going to cause some flooding. Okay, it already has to that wooden bridge I built, so hopefully it doesn't cause flooding down the river or downstream, whatever you want to call it. So hopefully we can get us in. And we did. And, you know, planes just have to fly through our spiderweb atrocity of bridges. Then you know what? Okay, four nuclear power plants right next to one... You know what? Five. Five nuclear power plants right next to one bridge. And it's connected to the rest of society by a dirt road. Because, you know what? Cities like this are what make the most money off of stupid, gullible tourists. And also, I can't stress enough, but I actually really like that roundabout area. That roundabout neighborhood, it has, like, barely any issues. Even though I've put, like, incinerators next to people's houses, they don't care. They genuinely do not care. And you know what? That's what I like about it. They don't care, and they're just happy. They're happy to be away from whatever the rest of the city is. And you know what? That's a good thing. Okay, now, this industrial district is weird looking. I feel like it's... Okay, it's not even that close to everyone else, but you know what? Let's lay some wind turbines so when people do start up their businesses, they're not complaining about power, because that's the thing that pisses me off most in this game. People complaining about not having power. Why are you complaining? Why? Okay, I think... Okay, people are actually doing pretty good. There's only a couple sick people in the entirety of our big, giant neighborhood. And we have 58,000 people. 58,000. That is almost 20,000 more than my previous record of, like, 42,000. Let's put some incinerators in the city. Like, people are getting mad, but I genuinely don't care. We need to- we need garbage management. It is necessary. It's a civil service that, as the mayor, I must fulfill. I must fulfill garbage management. And, oh, wow! I just noticed that is a lot of poop in there. A lot of poop water, a lot of sewage. That is a whole lot in that giant, in that giant like, bowl abomination we built. So, yeah, now that I think about it, I'm going to have to delete some of these things or just straight up disconnect them. Oh. Oh, no, that's not good at all. Yeah, I accidentally just disconnected, um... I accidentally disconnected... Oh, no! Oh, my! Somehow my laptop did not crash because of that. You know what, let's add, um, you know, eight wind turbines right next to all of our previous old poop pumps that we left inactive. Because why not? And up... Oh, no, those are still running. I absolutely need to delete them. I need to delete them all. Every single one of them. We cannot fill this thing up anymore. You know why? Because if we do, it's going to start p spilling over. People are going to find out about my evil, devious plan. And we can't have that happening. Because when you're the mayor of a city with almost 60,000 people... A plan like this getting released to the public is definitely going to spark some controversy and anger because thing is, the government of the city is probably made of like maybe 200 people. There are 60,000 residents basically that could do anything and that have pitchforks and stuff like that. We can't do anything against them. Oh yeah, and if you saw the road, it is literally just carving through the mountain in the most awful way possible. It's awful. It wraps around the mountain. I want to say almost twice. So, yeah. Now, this island right here, which um, used to have roads, but didn't save properly way back in the beginning. We are actually going to use it for something special. 
we're gonna connect the citizens to the rest of society, not through our, um, not over or through the highway, but through a completely different way. And I'm, I just want you guys to admire the city we've built. Our residential area is nice. I think we should put some prisons down here. Absolutely. Prisons galore. You know, we absolutely need prisons. That is the one thing the city needs. You know, we need dirt roads connecting the two highways together. Creating the ugliest intersections imaginable. It's like those quick turnaround areas that police officers hold speed cameras are usually there for. Yeah, that's the type of thing we're going to do, but it's available for everyone and it's for residential turning. Like, you can use them to turn around and stuff like that. And Oh my goodness. Why does our solar plant need police officers? It's a solar plant. What, what are the thieves going to do? Steal the sun? Like, seriously, what are they going to do? Steal it? Because I don't think they can. Oh yeah, and that highway which broke... Yeah, let's just build the worst possible solution. Putting dirt roads, connecting it together, not even in a straight line, because why not? And just, I just want you guys to admire how many balloons we have. Seriously, I think we have over 100 balloons. We have our awful traffic right there. That bridge that juts out specifically just to annoy that guy that lives in that apartment that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, that is specifically just to annoy him and no one else. I'm not even joking. Yeah, when you have ta when you have infinite money from your infinite taxpayer dollars, you can do anything you want basically. It's not a good thing to have infinite money because people will do stuff like this and you know what? That first island we created a while back, I actually really like it. We'll make this low density c housing because why not? Put some incinerators down, uh, like three or four or something like that. Yeah, let's just put them all down here so everyone on the mountain gets their garbage cleaned up because some people here are just straight up filthy. This bridge is not connected to the main structure. No, it's just its own individual thing that just is awful and ugly. And you know what? Let's connect it to the bridge because why not? Let's connect it there. And it's not even connected to like another wooden bridge. It's connected to a concrete asphalt bridge. Okay, this right here. More low density housing, because why not? And you know what? I think it's pretty cool that we get to do stuff like this. And you know what? Okay, nobody's moving in right now because we have almost 62,000 people. Almost. Actually, we have 62,000. But yeah, I skip forward a little bit so I can start working on this over here. First off, we need our um, residential crematoriums because people in this game love crematoriums. Like, it's unreal how much they love cremating their loved ones, deceased bodies. You know what? Why don't we just throw the thieves that are annoying this person into the crematorium? Will it make you happy? Will it? Will it solve your police issue? Oh, it won't? Well, not my problem. Sorry, it's sorry that you're being a loser. Sorry that you're being a crybaby. Like, if I were to get City Skylines 2, one of the cool new things about it, it actually tells you how long the roads are in like miles or kilometers. And that's just really cool. Like if I had it, okay, I wouldn't get it on this laptop because this laptop isn't fast enough to run it because City Skylines requires a decently powerful graphics card and CPU, which this thing is powerful enough to run City Skylines 1 pretty darn good, even when thousands of notifications pop up in like an instant, like what happened when we just did the whole sewage thing not too long ago. Yeah, when stuff like that happens, this game and my laptop respond really well. Oh yeah, we skip forward a tiny bit just to add some industrial area and some high-density commercial. Why? Well, why not? Seriously, why not? I don't even think it was high-density commercial. But yeah, let's just put a bunch of these wind... Okay, now I think about it, these wind turbines are literally producing no power. The ones in our canyon don't do anything. 
So I skip forward a little bit because deleting them is boring, kind of. So yeah, let's just put some garbage dumps here. Um, so far we have seven, eight, nine, and well, that's all we really need. Let's put like five, six, yeah, six wind turbines. Okay, up here, we need one more wind turbine to replace that abandoned house because what would you rather have? An old disheveled piece of crap that's falling apart or a wind turbine? Yeah, let's connect our, um, uh, our kind of crappy low-density housing to our industrial district by a dirt road, or I don't even know what these are anymore. Yep, they're dirt roads. Yep, they are. Oh, wow. That makes it even better that that road, that connecting the two together, yeah, they it wasn't covered. It wasn't a covered bridge, so it kind of concerned me. And... Why are people getting so sick all of a sudden? Why? There's literally nothing you should be getting sick over. The only thing that should be getting you sick is the traffic. And even then, you're not in the part that has to deal with it. That high-density mountainscape has to deal with it. They should be the ones getting sick. And they live right next to a giant poop pool. So they have, an, they have two excuses for being sick. You don't. You have no excuse. Oh, and are you going to say, boo, 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 it's the rockets. The rockets. Rocket fuel is hydrogen and oxygen. That's all it is. You can make rocket fuel from water. I'm not even joking. So, yeah, let's place some more medical buildings and stuff like that because these people are crybabies who can't do anything for themselves and don't know what medicine is. So, yeah, we just have to get doctors and nurses and surgeons from every other place on earth because here nobody wants to be one probably because they make more money just in off of inheritance alone than if they were to be a doctor like think about it if you were to be a doctor in the city would you make a lot of money or would you be overworked probably overworked and considering how many people are dying in this city inheritance is probably the way to go to be honest and it's kind of sad but also kind of weird and silly to be honest because it just shows that these people really don't care about their health and considering they're digital people who don't have actual legal rights maybe i'm not sure but yeah all i'm gonna say these people here their rights are negligible in real court so yeah, we're gonna add some more incinerators because we just need them. Oh, oh, you're complaining? Oh, little shack. You live next to four airports, five solar farms, and, an, and, and the incinerator is what makes you angry? Buddy, you have yourself to blame for that. It is entirely your fault for being sad. Like you live right next to an utter crap hole. You live in a piece of garbage, and you're complaining about the incinerator? The incinerator is probably going to help you because it's going to throw your house into the garbage. You know, just seven, eight, nine. Nine crematoriums up atop of our just tall, tall mountain. Okay, so I exited the game a tiny bit real quick because I actually, for a short time... Okay, so we're back in our city right here. One thing I just want to say is this. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Some of those low-density houses look pretty good. Traffic is still awful, as always. I like how there's traffic on the dirt road up the mountain on, like, a 40-degree incline. I love it. How are you having garbage problems? You live next to four incinerators. Oh, yeah, that's a dirt bridge. I love it. Yep, look how steep that dirt bridge above them is. Oh, this is a hearse. You know what? I think that we should just follow it. Oh, I like how there's two men carrying what looks like a candy bar, which is obviously a casket because it's a hearse. Does that say 10% only? Oh, wow. These people are about to drown and poop any day now. And you know what? 
that person's dead already. Like, if that sick icon shows up, they have excise, doesn't matter if it's white or red, they're basically dead already. Oh, no. No! Oh, no! Wow, this is awful. Why did I even think that a two-lane road up here was going to be good? Should have done a four-lane or maybe even a six-lane. Especially one of them with no medians, because this is awful. Then I like how there's no crosswalks, so it is inevitable people are jaywalking. Yeah, we have our university or hospital. Yeah, it's our university. We're going down our dirt road right here on the hill. Oh, and this is max speed, by the way. It is stop and go. Oh my, look at how steep some of the parking spots are. Like, and some of them are handicap spots. And, oh, Beechwood Tunnel. Like, why didn't we just take Beechwood Tunnel down? That would be the fastest way to the ground, probably. You know what? Knowing this game, that's probably a full tunnel as well. That tunnel probably has full congestion. And you know what? The fact that almost all the vehicles in this game are gas-powered makes it better and worse at the same time. Because you know, probably getting carbon monoxide poisoning or CO2 poisoning, it doesn't really matter. But all I'm gonna say, we finally made it into the big city area, not on our island, where we are gonna find another corpse. And we have, we loaded two caskets in here. A regular hearse only holds one. So that should give you an idea of just how much more intelligent and advanced these people are. They figured out how to fit 10 caskets in a hearse because doing the math, 100% load would be 10 caskets because each casket is 10% load. So yeah, that should tell you that these hearses are stupidly efficient. Yeah, we're probably heading over to the, um, to our original office area. Like, we're heading over there. I'm fairly certain about half of the cars on the road are, like, medical personnel or something like that. I would not even be surprised if that were the case. Like, ambulance, 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 ambulance. There's just ambulances everywhere. Like, no matter where you look, ambulances after ambulances. I think there's, like almost 10 ambulances on this bridge alone. Like, that should give you an idea just how bad our medical situation is. Okay, the game stopped for a moment because it was saving. But yeah, let's carry out our casket. And oh boy. Now let's go down this rickety wooden bridge with... Oh! It went up to 80% load. I think that might have been a whole family that was dead. That might have been that might have been one animation for what that might animation might have looked like one casket that might have actually been six caskets in one animation so that means we might be holding eight caskets right now just wow like seriously wow there is like no way I can even explain how impressive that is those two oh my oh wow those are some awful parking spots. <laughs> I didn't expect to see two full-size RVs in one of those parking lots. Okay, I just, I'm gonna stop following. I wanna look at these people's cars and their parking job because I'm kind of more impressed with their parking. I'm pausing the game just so I can look at it. Okay, that's cool. Those two RVs, they're parked like that. That's gonna be so difficult for that beetle to back out. You know what? Wow. This is the Jubilee. That is one of the weirdest looking car ever. Oh, look. It's Alvin and the Chipmunks. And then Pennywise on the rooftop or whatever. Okay. So far, we're actually doing pretty good. We have 67,800 people. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Close to the um, funny number that people say all the time. I don't know why. Be you know what? Let me just say something. Our industrial district, despite crossing over railroad tracks dozens of times, is doing really good. And 
Unfortunately, our buildings are catching on fire. And considering that this um, industrial district is entirely on dirt roads and, you know, just tons and tons of turns and twists and everything else, I think we definitely need a fire station. Police is optional. Fire is not. Because I don't want the city to burn down like London back in 1666. Or I'm fairly certain that's when the Great Fire of London was. You know what? Oh, finally, for once, that guy that lives right next to the airport, the incinerator, and solar plants are is happy. Okay, right here. Yeah, we just tore down a power line just to add that, and the way that the electricity in this game works, that's perfectly fine. You know what? I would actually really like to live in this city. Specifically, this part right here. Like, one of this neighborhoods. You know why? Because there's no high-density housing. It is just, like... It's like duplexes and stuff like that, but still, that counts as low density. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine. And Max Chapman Way... I think you're getting a hospital. Now nah, you're getting you're getting three clinics, three of them. You know why? Because that's all I can fit. Okay. Wait a minute. Yep, another hospital because people are dying and I don't want that. Also, up here. Okay, these people are having issues with noise. You moved right next. Oh, I like how the whole city just turned green. That's lovely. And you know what? Those people up there, they can deal with it. First off, you lived you live right next to an international airport. It's entirely your fault. I'm not to blame. Don't look at me. Don't blame me. It's 100% your fault. You know why? Because you guys are stupid. That is why. You decide to live next to an international airport, like literally next to one. Yeah, a plane nearly crashed into our wooden bridges. Well, that was a close miss. And do you know what? Another building up there is on fire. There's garbage issues there. There's one person having their house broken into. That's lovely. And you know what? We have 69,131 people. That's lovely. A truly, truly lovely thing. And you know what? I want to fit this amusement park somewhere in the residential area. Specifically the... um. Uh, yeah, the roundabout land. I'm just going to call it roundabout land for now on. Let's put a park there. Another park there, like literally right next to the airport. And why am I doing this? Well, the reason I'm doing this is this actually kind of reminds me of my real life, where sometimes my family might go to the airport and watch the planes go off and stuff like that. Specifically because we find planes fascinating and stuff like that. Okay, this is pretty cool. We're just gonna add some more roads and stuff like that, specifically so we can add more people, more buildings, and get more money from our taxpayers. Oh, and we passed the 69420 number, which is, you know, like Elon Musk's favorite number for some reason. We passed it. We're almost at 69,600. Nice. But you know what? It's going to be even more nice once we reach 70,000. If we reach 70,000. And I did not know these prisons went without water. That's kind of fat. That's kind of sad and funny. But considering what some of these people did. that I'm going to take a guess that some of the people in these prisons probably deserve it, to be honest. You know that? Like, they probably deserve not to have water. Especially if there's, like, any serial killers or, like mass murderers in there and you know what let's make the most dangerous neighborhood in this entire park because it can actually no city because it could flood at any moment that bridge could break like there is so many things there are like so so many things that could go wrong with this place let's attach it to that dam right there that's doing literally nothing maybe holding back water from the sea but okay now, right here, yeah, everyone has water. It's lovely. There is no water issues in the city other than that big piece of land right that we're over right now. That area is struggling with water. Traffic is bad, which is good. 
And you know what? Let's put another prison down. Another. Yep. We need more prisons. More. Maybe three prisons on this part. Maybe another one. I'm not sure. All I know, we need prisons and more prisons. Because prisons are cool in this game. Another one, and I'm fairly certain we might not be able to fit another one. Which will be pretty sad, to be honest, because there's probably a lot of people in this city that are going to do terrible things in the name of quote-unquote liberation. But we all know people in this game are too dumb to know what liberation is. Especially people living in a city called Tim Stantinople. Oh, and we're pretty close to 71,000 people? When are we going to reach it? When? Just like, okay, 50 away, 83. Uh, come on, come on, we can do it. We can totally do it. We can absolutely do it. We can do it. Oh, we are so close. So close. Yes, we did it. 71,000 people live here. We did it. We actually did it. It's wonderful. This calls for a celebration. That means... Turn around lanes on our highways. Yep. These turnaround spots creating intersections. Whoa, yeah. We need more of them. This is because it's awesome. We just need all, all the bad things on our highway. Intersections and stoplights. This is what I call awesome. And you know what? Look at that. These squares in the middle of the highway we can place people there. We can actually place people there. And knowing how dumb people are in this city, they will absolutely move there. Like, it doesn't matter if they live next to a nuclear power plant or a, a garbage dump. They will live there. And they won't care. They won't care. You know why? As I said earlier, these people are dumb. Yeah. Let's make this a high-density housing area. All the houses in the middle of the highway. Yeah, high density because... Yeah, you want your kid crossing a busy highway. That is what I call um, child neglect in this game. And oh, 72,000! We just made it. Now, I've skipped to a different area. This is that one island that we reached a while back with our wooden monstrosity. I'm now actually going to um, build out the settlement and infrastructures on it. Okay, I want shipping lane things because I... We need two shipping harbors for a specific structure in the special structure menu. Okay, I lowered that specifically just so we can add some stuff. Probably housing, to be honest. Oh, wow, that bridge is just a problem. Like, seriously, that bridge is a problem for so many reasons and so many people. That bridge is probably an eyesore, to be honest, but... I don't care. As I keep saying, I don't care. I am the mayor. I live in the best house in this entire town. Or city, or whatever you want to call this place. And wait. Yep, we got it! Our shipping area. Yep, our harbor. This is gonna be lovely. We have a harbor. Like, it's wonderful. And yep, another one right here. Because we absolutely need a harbor. Think about it. Harbors are necessary in this game. Without a harbor, you can't really do anything. And you know what? I used to think Harvard was actually called Harbor for some reason. And you know, let's build this disgusting bridge right here. Because why not? Every city needs a disgustingly awful looking bridge. It's an absolute eyesore. Okay. Don't worry, Shipping Harbor. We're going to give you power soon. We just need to build out this island some. Let's put some roads here. Let's put some more up here around these, like, crater-type areas. Specifically because we need land and people to move here. Oh, and we are almost at 74,000 people. I just wanted to point that out. That's pretty cool. Actually, we are almost at that, and... When we reach that, that's going to be very cool. Yep, 74,000. Let's go, baby. Okay. We're, we're increasing in population pretty fast. We are almost double 
my record at this point. We're almost double it, and that's awesome. Okay, let's see. Yeah. One of the- I don't know which building was, like, the whole- You need two shipping harbors building, but hopefully we get to build it pretty soon. Now that I think about it, it might have been the Colossal's Order office, which I believe is the company that, um, owns the company that made this game or something. Which is pretty cool, if I say so myself. You have a fictional office for a real company. Nice. Okay, this city right here, water is a necessity. The reason water is a necessity, in real life, it's a necessity. And as I said earlier, it's a human right. Oh, those people by the prison are complaining about noise complaint. You live next to a prison. They're probably having their they're probably having their bi-daily riot or something like that. Like, they probably have like two riots a day there. And you decided, hey, I'm gonna live right next to a federal prison and stuff like that. Actually, I don't think they have riots in federal prisons because they're so secure and stuff like that. Yeah, let's add some more sewage pipes right here just so we can make this water over here look good garbage. Wait a minute. Oh, for a moment I thought I put like an, a water suction thing up. Nope, both of them are sewage pipes, just one of them isn't getting enough sewage put out. I think it's just the shipping thing. So yeah, we need an incineration plant right next to the container ship area. We'll put one up here because why not? And also, we're just doing this because I don't actually like garbage dumps. I'd much rather incinerate my trash because one thing. Yeah, some people have said recycling is a scam. In this game, there is no recycling plant. I believe in um, Sim City, the infinitely inferior version of City Skylines, which is the uh, mobile only thing. I believe, I'm not even sure at this point. It might be available on desktop, but I'm not looking that up since I'm. I, I don't need City Sky. I don't need Sim City because I have City Skylines. Say, so yeah, let's put a hospital here. Let's put um, a police station here. Fire station here, because why not? Oh, and you're complaining about not having enough power. Well, that is literally not my problem. Oh, and we've made it to three quarters of the way to 100,000. That's pretty cool. Okay, right here, I'm just... I, I hate using these power lines, but we're gonna have to do it. I hate them. I hate power lines, but we have to do it. It's a necessary evil. That is all. Actually, no, now that I think about it, it's unnecessary evil. Like, yeah, this city, this city is like the polar opposite of like those TV shows that are like building a shack in remote Alaska. Like those TV shows that you might see or might not see depending on what country you're from. But yeah, occasionally I see those shows that are like, Oh, we built a shack in Alaska. We have to hunt animals and stuff like that. And for meat and stuff. Yeah. Like those shows. That is like the polar opposite of what the city is. The city is like one of those Top Gear specials. Where they have to go into like a city that's famous for having some of the worst traffic in the world. Like I believe Rangoon. Which is from their um. Yeah, it's from their um Burma special or Myanmar special. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they had horrible traffic there. But yeah, that's all. And you know what? Something I'm gonna say. This city. Okay, we need... Yeah, we need a lot of things. I'm not even sure if we can get the city even be that big. If, you know... It's almost already filled and all this water everywhere makes it so we can't build stuff. But yeah, I like how we got our like little mall right here. Another one. 10,000 squares of industrial zone built. Less than four money. Uh, how am I supposed to do that? Two unique buildings. Okay. This is the Colossal Order office. Yep. This is why I needed two shipping harbor areas. And yeah. Let me say this. Everyone here lives in the city. There's no one living off the grid here. Because I won't allow it. Living off the grid is suspicious on here. 
very much suspicious. You know why? Because why not? You are not allowed to live on the gr off the grid. I was about to say on the grid, but that didn't make sense. Yeah, let's put this silly park there. Another silly park. Actually, no, they're not silly. They're probably memorials, but knowing this game, they're probably silly. And, uh, yeah, let's just do all this. Build some more roads so we can actually fit more things. Probably, hopefully, more people. And you know what? One thing I'm going to say, there is just nothing I can refix in this city. Oh, our first person. First person on our rich people island. Yeah, that's what this this island that's separated from everything, that's what it's supposed to be. It's for the rich people. The well-off rich people, to be honest. It's for all of them, and it's supposed to be a good place for people to live. Let's put a harbor here. Actually, no, that is not a harbor. It's a pier. I... I should not confuse that as a shipping harbor. Botanical gardens, because why not? Now, we're not just doing this. No. A Japanese garden. I think that's a Japanese garden. Another pier. This time, I believe, with, like, a restaurant on the end of it. I'm not sure. Looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, we need a uh, plaza with picnic tables or whatever it said. Um... That's right! More balloon tours! Yeah, sorry I shouted. I just remembered about these. We need more of them, and... Are they gonna congregate into the giant mass of balloons? You know what? Basketball and tennis courts, absolutely necessary in this city. Absolutely necessary. Birthday plazas are cool. We need parking garages, because... I think a sizable amount of people are gonna live on this island now that I think about it. Just see if there's any special structures available. Nope. Not there. All that is built. I might relocate one of the old buildings onto this island or something like that. One of the buildings I've already built I might tear it down. Yeah, we have a skate park. Um, an equestrian farm or something like that. Because why not? Yeah. Do you know what? Horses can live freely on this island. I want to place two of these equestrian farms. You know what, now that I think about it, that might not actually be happening. Because I still need to fit a lot of things here. Like a jet ski rental. Like, and duh. You know, with it being like 40 feet above sea level, that is the perfect jet ski rental. The perfect jet ski rental. Amusement park. Yeah, we actually need one of these. I don't think we have a single one of them in the whole city. Now that I think about it. So yeah, we need amusement parks. Equestrian training places. Oh my, oh my, I just saw that in the background. No shipping container. No, they're not shipping containers. Ugh, why am I getting stuff mixed up? Cruise ships. Yeah, they just bumped into each other like bumper cars. And in real life, um, both of them would have sunk. Because that is, not how, that is not how cruise ships work. It's kind of cursed, but also funny at the same time. And wow! The more roads we have, the better things get. Because we can place more stuff. Because there's no empty spaces. Do you know what? Something I will say. Industrial! Yep, we need more industrial district areas. Because why not? Okay, I like how they're already starting to build, like, their little factories and stuff like that. That's nice. And they're far enough away from the residential area, and their botanical garden, and their piers, and stuff like that. And, yeah, that jet ski rental area, like, I don't even know how it's gonna work. They're probably just gonna sit you on a jet ski, drop you out of, like, one of those, like, drop floor water slides, like, 40 feet into the ocean... And then, boom, you're just gonna plop there on your jet ski. Probably break a few phones, maybe. Because I'm fairly certain 40 feet... It would take over a second to fall that fast because of Earth's gravity and stuff like that, but... This game probably has um, faster, maybe slower gravity. I haven't tested yet. And probably won't ever test it, but yeah. 
I'm just gonna assume it's faster because most video games is faster than Earth. Beam&G Drive is surprisingly one of the more accurate games when it comes to gravity. Because there literally is an Earth setting in that game. Yeah. Another road right here so we can fit more residential areas. I think it's nice. The equestrian places have plenty of roads surrounding them. Nice. So if a horse tries to escape, they're probably going to get hit by a car. Which is not so nice. But you know what? They'll teach them a second time not to escape their stables after midnight. I don't know why I just spoke like that, but you know what? I'm okay. Oh, wow. That is a lot of awful things the cruise ships are doing. The cruise ships are like having a full ballet or a full battle with each other. And my goodness, you people should not have moved to get next to a bunch of wind turbines and three federal prisons. Shouldn't have done that. It's your own fault. There's no one you can blame but yourself. Okay. And you know what? Our population, pretty close to triple, actually no, quintuple seven. We just got it, yeah! We just did it. Quintuple seven, we just did it. We just have, we just gained ourselves a new industrial district because of demand. We have some residential areas, that's lovely. Like truly, it's a lovely thing, having industrial and residential. Oh, I love how it just spawned a new cruise ship. That's lovely. And it has like a wing on it, like a, like one of those like ricer cars with like super big wings on them. Or a race car, I'm not even sure at this point. But now, we need some incineration plants because, duh, it's industry. It needs incineration. And I like how there are like flat, there are like slums in the middle of the highway. That's awesome. You know what? Everyone's complaining about being sick and dying and stuff like that. They need hospitals. Why not just give them hospitals at this point? Like, seriously. Hospitals are necessary. It's how you can help yourself survive. If you don't trust hospitals, well, that's your preference, not mine. And you know what? It's If you're scared of hospitals, like, that's your own, that's your own thing. I can't change that about you. But these people, since they're my citizens, everyone's getting a hospital, whether they want it or not. And you know what? We're always importing doctors from other places around the world because the people here have such a low IQ that they're probably not suitable to be doctors anyway, even if they wanted to be. They're probably not suitable. And I cannot stress how much I hate these power lines. They're ugly. Like, they are so ugly. So I'm just going to shorten the line some. And you know what? Let's add some more water because these crematoriums are complaining. And also, why does a crematorium need water? You burn stuff, not drench stuff. Like, that is literally what a crematorium does. And, oh my, people are getting sick. They're complaining about noise. Well, you only have yourself to blame. And, oh, that's unforeseen. All the people that were down there are dead. Along with one of the balloon places. Oh my. We're gonna have a chaotic, chaotic disaster at our hands pretty soon. Do you know why? Because the sewage inside of the um, uh, one area is high enough to where it's almost gonna make a waterfall. It's almost to the waterfall ledge. And you know what? That makes it even better. It is almost there. So you know what? This calls for celebration. More low-density housing. More of it. We need a lot of it, to be honest. Oh, and I love our commercial district. Like, literally just right down the road. Oh, and you know what? Let's put another one of these in since that giant tower we built doesn't have any... Um, doesn't have any sewage pipes so yeah let's speed this one up to like fill up as quickly as that one. Oh, you're complaining about waste in the soil are you actually complaining about that that should be the last thing you're complaining about the last thing seriously okay this right here i think it should be a mixture between high density and industrial because as we all know 
kids kids grow up to be super smart geniuses like Einstein and Hawking when they're right next to a bunch of factories spewing out toxic chemicals. Of course, it's a joke. You should obviously know that. Don't don't raise your kids next to nuclear power plants and stuff like that. Their children are probably going to have like seven arms and stuff like that and four heads. I don't know. Probably their kids are probably going to have giant foreheads or something like that. Now that I think about it. And we are almost to 80,000 people. Almost. And you know what? With this high density area, we can do anything right now. We have plenty of spaces to house 80,000 people. In fact, we're probably going to reach it pretty soon. Okay. Like, other than the city being a chaotic nightmare, I can't help but like it. Like, there's something about the city that's just oddly appealing. Like, there's something about it that I just love. Like, something about it that's just lovely and just peaceful and serene. So you know what that means? Another residential area. That's right. We're going to place it on the other side of the highway going over it. And of course, we're going to make some stoplights at the highway. Because you should understand by this point, highways in this game are basically just regular roads. You can place people to live in between them in the grass median. Because that is obviously a perfect place for people to live. Especially families with small children. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not a good place for families with small children. That's only a good place for families that want to get rid of small children. And 80,000! Yeah, 80,066! 108, 119, 132. We did it. We made it to 80,000, which is almost double of my original largest city I've ever done. And what? This, this is a beautiful, beautiful skyline view. Like, I, I think it's actually beautiful. We need another one of these sewage pipes. Yep. Actually, no, now that I think about it, we need more. I'm not sure how many we're going to add or something like that. All I know, we are not going to have just a few of them. And you know what? I think our waterfall is going to be able to produce plenty of sewage to flood out. And... Oh, it's starting. It's not strong enough, though. So let's add some um, sewage pipes out here just so it can get into the river itself and eventually pollute everything. Because you know why? Because I think that is how everything should go. Oh, and also, we have, like, we don't have too much more of this to go. Hopefully, we can get our apocalypse ready. Yeah, I just admitted this was all the scheme for an apocalypse. This was all set up. We are setting up an apocalypse to destroy the entire city. All 80, all nearly 81,000 people. Our deal is just, we just don't like them. It's as simple as that. We don't like them. We gathered them here. They all went here by choice. Now we're going to flood the city with a tsunami of poopy juice. Yep. That's what we're going to do. And I love it. Okay, now that I think about it, I'm not even sure what I'm going to build here. Probably more balloons, to be honest. Because I just can't get enough of those balloons. I love them. The balloons are, in my opinion, awesome. Like, they are a necessity in the city. You know what, now that I think about it, I think high-density commercial... No, high-density residential. We should absolutely place that right next to our low-density residential. Because, you know what? We need more people here. We absolutely need more people to live here. And I like how our other thing is booming. So I skipped down tonight. It's pretty nice and all. Actually, it's lovely now that I think about it. Our poop waterfall is doing pretty good. It's going down the river. Nice. Nice. Our river's becoming polluted, and... Oh, I, I just love whenever that happens. There's this tidal wave of happiness around the city. You know what? Here's one water tower. Oh, yeah. It's going down. Absolutely going down. Okay. I, I want to place a sewage pipe right next to our water collection system. 
Oh, I think the poop is entering into the system, and that's why some people are getting sick. Imagine if we put one literally right next to the sewage entry system. That is going to be such a bad idea. Do you know what I just love? I love that one of the oldest structures we have in the city is still here. That hydroelectric dam that connects everything together. That connects this island to that island. Yeah, the one right in front of us. I like how that's still, like, just standing. And it's one of the original structures we've made. I still love it. And you know what? When our city... What is happening to my kids when they play outside? I don't know, they're probably being abducted. That is why we have six federal prisons in this one city. And I did not know I could place some... Um, I didn't know I could place water pipes, water collection pipes, on land, but okay, it's like a well. Now... Okay, we're doing pretty good. That is a lot of sewage. Yeah, I just canceled out... Okay, that's starting to drain a little, but you know what? I think that we should do what we need to do quicker rather than later. And you know why? Because there are some issues already. Actually, no, now that I think about it, we should just start. Citizens, the apocalypse starts now! It starts now, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't save yourselves. You cannot save yourselves. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Look at it! Oh! I think I just saw a bunch of cars get flooded into the river. That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. It's probably going to be a bunch of abandoned houses there later. Like, it is just incredible. Like, just truly incredible. And you know what? Now that I think about it, we should put some more sewage outlet pipes into the river. The river that feeds our people. Oh, and we're 82,000 people, only two more, and we double my original largest city's population. To be fair, we're probably not even going to make it to there. Because I probably, tried, I probably just so chose violence against my city a little too soon. You know what? I don't care. I think we're doing the right thing. We're getting the city, this awful, awful city, out of existence. Especially with, like, its cloud of, like, nearly 200 balloons or something. I don't know how many that is, but... Wow, that is a lot of balloons. This right here? Yeah, that, that's an emergency water pump specifically designed to pull up poop water. Let's put one here. Yeah. Oh, I like how our population is ever slowly decreasing. Oh, yeah! Look at that. They are the first to be flooded without me even having to place anything. I don't even have to place an outlet pipe for them to start flooding. They're just flooding naturally. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Just, yeah, I did a little bit of work. I made some districts and stuff like that. You want to see some? Okay. We have, um... I'm not even sure what that is. I think that's Communist Hill. Okay. Yeah, I just decided to make a bunch of districts and name them. We have Valley of Thieves because the crime rate's high and the prices are even higher. So yeah, it's stealing is encouraged. Child, lo child labor law violations. Anarchist Hill. And you know what else? We also have some other places. Some other places that truly make the world a better place. I think this is where my city population is going to peak, though. About 82,700. That's Peasant Heights, our area. The land of Fife. I've been listening to a lot of Glory Hammer while making this video. And you know why? Because Glory Hammer slaps. I think it's a wonderful band. They make cool power metal. Escape the lie. Escape the Matrix. That is the only way out. Belmont Park, the only normally named place. Valley of Thieves, child labor law violations. Hey, some sauce. Michael here. Poopy Lake, Poopy Lake. Capitalist Hill, Communist Hill. I love that. Smogtopia, Bearwood District. Forgot to name it. I'm going to name it NASA 
slash SpaceX. Yeah. Crime Citadel, lovely. Okay. We hate charity. We love loitering. Broad District. South Poopoo Island, North Poopoo Island, Disney World. It's literally a cemetery and a crematorium. Scamtasia, Black Dolphin, ADX Florence. Yep. And this, Low Oxygen Highlands. Yep. How do you like the names of my districts? I believe one of these places is actually called Anarchist Hill. Oh yeah, I forgot. Anarchist Hill is our industrial district. Our northern industrial district, and I love it. This is just a lovely, lovely city. Like, I, I love Escape the Lie, because you know what? If you want to escape the city, that's like one of the few ways out. You know what? Water refinery plants. I believe these dump sewage, I don't know. They probably just make more water or something and just dump it wherever. And that's one of the cool things about them. I don't actually think know if they dump sewage. If they do, that's actually po that's pretty good if they do. You know what? Let's give them plenty of power. Plenty of it. Yeah, we're gonna need to do so anyway. And, ooh, looks like our population's actually decreasing a little. That's pretty new. I haven't seen that in a little while, actually. It's kind of concerning because there are, there's a lot of people here. And let's see, just with all of everything we're doing, this is probably a, this is probably able to be considered a crime against humanity. Like what we are actively doing. Thank you for an amazing vacation. See you next year. Buddy, the city's not even going to exist next year. Do you really think you are coming back? No. You're probably going to die on your way out because of starvation. Because of just how bad the traffic is. Especially if you're in Communist Hill. Gosh, the traffic in Communist Hill is awful. And you know what? I like that the communists and capitalists can live together in peace and harmony. On their awful, awful hill. Where physics doesn't exist. Physics is to be damned. Nothing exists in this town other than awfulness, crime, and sadness. Oh my gosh. Balloons, get out of the way! I'm trying to place sewage pipes. Okay, so far we're doing actually pretty good with all this. I think it's pretty neat. Lots well, connected to the main system. And oh yeah, we're doing it. We're getting more and more people sick. Let's place some of these um, sewage outlets on land itself. Let's hook them up real quick. Because, you know what? A sewage pipe is literally useless if it's not hooked up to uh, the water grid system. And you know what? Uh, think about it. We need some water pumps right here so they pull up as much sewage as possible. Giving people disgusting water. Oh, you want power? Here is, um... Yeah, that's like four... Yeah, four wind turbines for those three water pumps, because why not? Okay, here we have everything we could ever want, really. But you know what? I'm going to build some more roads real quick. Specifically, we're going to connect this to the highway, make another intersection, another intersection. Now this, we're going to make more intersections into the highway. And just, just, you know what? It's going to be sad, but... It's a necessary evil in this city. Oh, wow. People are upset that I'm going to be destroying every way out. Oh, they're happy about that. Those people are happy that there is no escape from this awful city. Oh, my. I'm just going to do that just to alleviate traffic. You know why? Because I don't like traffic anymore. I have decided it. Traffic is bad. We need as much ammo and buckshot as possible. Yes, this is of such a scale that cars are now considered buckshot. Yeah, let's put a sewage pipe there. Obviously, that's going to be awesome. Oh, it's already working. Like, I didn't even have to hook it up, and it's already working. That one's probably going to start working or something. Maybe. But yeah, now we are just here... People are starting to get sick more, especially people deep inside the city, specifically our mixed-use land. They are getting very sick, and 
It's kind of no surprise. They live in smog, squalor, and under balloon threat, and constant uh, weather balloon attack, or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, people can only come in, they can't come out. Yep, and if you try to come out, oh yeah, we're just building a road that just takes you into the city. One way only. Okay, let's see, what do we do about this area right here? Okay, I think that we should absolutely just... Yeah, I just diverted the road away from getting out and made it so that there's no way. There's absolutely no way out of the city. You know what, now that I think about it, this way out, it's terrible way. Terrible thing. Oh, I just love how all the cars just glitch themselves into, like, the city. They just glitch themselves onto the other highway. It's awesome. And you know what? One thing I will say. The apocalypse is coming soon. Don't worry. We still have 79,000 um, potential casualties. And I'll admit that's actually a pretty nice stadium nearby the SpaceX area. But, and the balloons are all nice and all. But you know what? We need to disconnect the bridges. And, well, do our civil duties to do everything. Destroy the airports. Oh. You guys have been suffering from noise pollution for years, and now you're sad? Gosh, you guys are petty. You guys are such hypocrites. You, you're you angry about yourself losing something, and you're angry about someone existing, but yet the moment they stop existing, you get sad. Gosh, you guys make me annoyed. And you know what? Now that I think about it, you know what? You guys are not going to survive. You guys are actually going to be one of my um, earlier victims. Now, as you can see right here, we already have sewage pipes already being set up. I don't know why I'm dragging out a sewage pipe for over a mile. I think I just want to... I want to figure out how to get more sewage everywhere. And look at those cruise ships. They're defying the laws of physics and they don't care. They live in an awful city. Why should they care? Seriously, there's no reason to care about anything anymore. There's dead people everywhere, to the point where I think my over 100 crematoriums can't do anything. And you know what? I'm actually kind of curious. How dirty is the river? Like, seriously, how dirty is this river? Is all I want to know. Okay, so I'm back to my main water collection area, connecting a sewage pipe and stuff like that. Because I want to pollute all the water. Because this is a video game. It's not real life. If it were real life, I'd probably be executed for crimes against humanity. But still, this is a video game. Okay, Escape the Lie is pretty cool and stuff like that. Like the airports, we need to get rid of it. Nobody is allowed to leave this place. Like, the moment you come here, the moment you are just screwed. Yeah, you are not allowed to leave. Everything here is gone. You are not allowed to leave. Absolutely no one is allowed to leave this place. No one. And also, why are you guys happy? Like, seriously, why? Oh, so many people are getting sick, and I'm just showing you this visage. I don't care if I'm not moving right at the moment. I just want to show you guys how bad this whole situation is getting. There's abandoned buildings in basically every district. People up there are struggling not to drown. And you know what? Soon, the wall shall collapse. The wall will collapse, and a flood will destroy and purge our city off the face of the earth. The world will be cleansed of this awful, awful place. Soon, we are to be freed from awfulness freed from this awful city's influence the city is no longer a land of influence but a land of death a land of flooding death and sewage and oh my oh my that's like chocolate that doesn't even have the consistency of water that's like the consistency of chocolate pudding basically just wow Oh my.
That isn't even a tsunami. That's just a blob of chocolate pudding. That translucent chocolate pudding that smells like feces. That is like the worst thing I could think of. And oh yeah. We hate charity and we love loitering. Yeah, they're the first to go. They're the first to be eradicated off the, arf, off the face of the earth. Yeah, these people just don't get water anymore. You know why? Because they're all gonna die anyway. Duh. And do you know what? This is just awesome. Just look at what we are doing. I'm just filling in this river right here just so we can get this thing to travel farther. And, and so it does not lose momentum by being um, absorbed by the river below. Because I want this thing to travel by land and to be effective. And this thing, um, it looks like it's slowing down, but I don't think it is. I, I don't think it's slowing down. Like, I don't think that giant tsunami is slowing down. And just remember, we made two little areas for these things to compile. I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not slowing down. It is absolutely, um... Absolutely ravaging, like, everything. And you know what? I'm happy about it! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> We're doing it! We're destroying the city with all of our might and all of our money. Our infinite budget wasn't just given to us just so we can build a perfect city. We built a near-perfect city, though be it had a high crime rate and high sickness rate. But still, we got to do this at the end, which has made everything infinitely better. And you know what? I love that my computer is still just running smoothly because of this. Seriously, my laptop is running smooth as butter with this whole thing. It might not look as smooth in this video because the video is like... This video is like, I will say like 15 gigabytes in file size, so... Yeah. And oh boy. This is just making me happy. Everyone is getting sick. Everyone is getting sick! This is wonderful! This is beautiful! Oh, we're at less than 50,000 people. And considering there's no way out, they have absolutely died. Like, death is, like, for sure what happened to them. And, oh. Smogtopia and SpaceX are gone. And so is Anarchist Hill, the Escape the Lie. All of them are gone. Yeah, we're just building more of these just to aid the tsunami some. Peasant Heights or Peasant Hill, or whatever it's called. I think Peasant Heights. Yeah, Belmont Park has no people. Valley of Thieves is kind of depressing. They're just gonna, like, starve to death or something like that. And I just, I just love this. Oh, oh my. We're at almost 35,000 people, meaning a little over half of our people have died already. Oh my. You know what? Let's build a new hill to start dumping sewage off of as there are still people here. Let's still at least do this. Okay, we need sewage pipe here, 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 here. Here, here, here. Here. And maybe on the other side of the hill, I'm not sure. You know what? I'm just having fun because we get to destroy a city and ruin thousands of people's lives. Digital people... Not real people. If this was real people, it would be a crime against humanity, and I would be executed for this. And also, I would not be able to live with myself if I did something like this in real life. That's why video games are cool. They allow you to commit a they allow you to do heinous atrocities and have fun in the process. You know that? That's what video games allow you to do, and it's awesome. You know what? They can prevent violent urges to do stuff like this. And I just love how everything is flooding. Also, this. Yes, so many sick people. And somehow my laptop is still still dealing with this pretty good. Oh my, that's so many abandoned buildings. Some people are surviving. How? How are you guys surviving this? 
Like, all the buildings that are abandoned, those are the cool buildings. Like, it just shows how many buildings have been destroyed by this, and we are at 27,000. Think about that. Tw actually, no. We are at about 25,000 now. Think about that. That means over 50,000 people have died. Just think about that. Over 50,000 people have died in our poopy juice tsunami. In our tsunami of poop. Over 50,000 are gone. Now over 60,000 are gone. We're at almost 15,000 now. We are at 15,000 now. Wow. We are losing people fast. And you know what? They decide to live here. It was their fault. They should have looked at the giant lake of poop and, you know, the giant tower just filled with poop. They should have looked at that and decided, no, I'm not living here. Also, people from the land of Fife, they're not allowed to escape at all. Can't even swim to the bridges because they're probably going to get sepsis swimming or something. No hospitals either. None. You know what? You guys don't even get power anymore. You guys don't get power. You don't get hospitals. Don't get clean water. Nobody in the city gets anything. Everyone is just going to be swept up and destroyed. Oh. Wow. There are so many abandoned buildings here. So many sick people. There are just... I think this whole city is almost just abandoned. Is almost abandoned buildings. Like, it's almost entirely just that. Like, I don't even think people want to live here. Just... Like, look at this great city that has just did awful. This great city that has been screwed over so hard by a tsunami of poop. Think about it. This whole place has been utterly abominated. Has been utterly destroyed by their own fecal matter. Think about that. These people have literally crapped themselves to death. Well, metaphorically, they've done it. Technically, it was collected by the state and put into a giant container for the city and stuff like that. It was put into a giant bowl built into a mountain. And then it was, then that mountain was broken and boom, they got flooded to death. So technically, this is their fault when you use lots of mental gymnastics and, um, yeah, when you think like someone who violates human rights on a regular basis, which isn't me, I'm gonna say that, I don't violate human rights, I believe that, um, yeah, I'm a big supporter for human rights, but this is City Skylines, no YouTuber in City Skylines respects basic human rights. Specifically, the human rights of City Skylines people. They respect real people's human rights, and not the rights of these people. And you know what? Let's get, of all, get, let's get rid of all these wind turbines. We need to make this place as bad as possible, because there isn't much we have to do left. You know what? Because I realized we've already screwed the city over so much that there's not really much we could even do. Like, what could we do? Anyway, that's kind of really all I think we could do. And you know what? That is basically all. We're down to a little over 10,000 people. Almost every building in the city is abandoned. Almost everyone is sick or dead. Our districts are all in shambles. Our mayor has been escorted by... Um, I'm not sure who he's been escorted by, but... He's been escorted by someone because the, um, the remaining citizens want to behead him for doing such a thing, which, to be fair, if I was one of the citizens, I would absolutely participate because this is unacceptable if this were to happen in real life. Just, I just absolutely just can't believe that a city building game lets me do this. And that's what makes this game so awesome like just look at all the ambulances look at every single one i'm just deleting all these buildings 
Just to give you an idea just how bad our ambulance problem is. At this point, 99% of our cars are ambulances. The rest are hearses and garbage trucks. Like, that should give you an idea how bad we're doing. And you know what? Oh, we're almost 9,000 people. Once we reach that, we're basically... We're golden. We're golden once we reach that. I don't actually know if we're actually going to reach it. You know what? Let's flood this area now. Why not? Just why not? Okay, we're probably not going to get down to 9,000 since there are somehow people moving in. I don't know how because literally every form, every way to get in has basically been destroyed. And also, how? How is the city happy? I've destroyed it. I have flooded it with all the sewage you could possibly think of. Like, I flooded it with sewage from tens of thousands of people. And yet, they're happy still. Somehow, these masochists are happy with their living conditions. This isn't even a third world country. These aren't even the conditions of, like, a third world country. These are the conditions of a fourth world country. Or, like, a tenth world country. These are the conditions of probably what it's like to live in, like, North Korea or something like that. Because, just, the, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, that's all. It's nighttime now. And I've decided, why not just think about some stuff? Well... Looking for anyone that still might be here. And you know what I decided? When we start a new city, if I get City Skylines 2, I'm looking for someone to name our leader after. Because I have shown in this playthrough, I am not fit to be the leader of a city. Cedric Walker. Bye!